check, 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 check. It's good, everyone. We will be starting shortly. Woody, Italian Stallion, W Man, Gig Workers, how we all feeling tonight?
Let's go. Boys and girls, off your fucking feet. Give it up for your host, Shy Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how are we doing on this Monday night? We have so much to get into tonight. It's definitely a little different from our Saturday shows. I usually like to take a couple days to gather my fucking thoughts after a six-hour excursion, but hey, man, uh, that Corey Adam interview, a lot of people have questions, so we will provide the answers. Here tonight, am I a steel toe friend, or am I a steel toe foe? I don't know, guys. Uh, you know, all day last night and uh, this morning trying to get me back on his good side. I mean, dude, I mean, it's like, have you have you not watched our, like, the last three weeks of our show? Four weeks? Five weeks? Like, the last four or five weeks, it's been nothing, but, like, I mean, for lack of better terms, taking my pants down and fucking shitting on his fucking whole existence. I mean, if you want to call that a friend, you know, I mean, I, I don't know. More power to you, I guess. But we're going to find that uh, out tonight. Am I a steel toe friend? Has Aaron won me back over? That is the question on a lot of people's minds. And we are going to find that out here tonight. Hopefully everyone's doing good here on this Monday night. Like I said, this is, uh, you know, a little different. Uh, we don't like coming in, uh, you know, you know, two days after we just did a whole show. It's like, you know, sometimes people just need separation, man. We were talking about that on Saturday. Like, you know, you just need uh, the key to any successful relationship is, you know, uh, having having your own personal space. So, uh, you know, but given the Corey Adam interview that took place on Saturday, which I thought, uh, you know, was a, a pretty solid interview. And as uh, Patrick Melton from Nobody Likes Onions pointed out today, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, I probably could have pressed him a little harder for sure. Uh, but, you know, it was I, I didn't want to go too deep on a Patrick Melton rant. You understand what I'm saying? It's like. I wanted to hit uh, what was going on in the steel toe world, the whole cowpoat thing. I mean, I don't know fucking cowpoat. You know what I mean? This guy cowpoat could have all the answers or he could have no answers. I mean, I should have taken the hint. I mean, he's fucking in a PT cruiser, right? But I don't know this fucking guy. He might be an inside spy for all I fucking know. Uh, so, you know, I wanted to get to the bottom of that. And like I said throughout the interview many times, you know, it's... Just because, uh, you know, Corey Adam, I, I, I might see Corey Adam as a, you know, good guy, essentially. I might see the good in Corey Adam. That does not, well, uh, let me save it. I don't know. Uh, am I a steel toe fan or am I a steel toe foe? That is the question tonight. We will answer that. Hopefully everyone's doing it. The chat is looking great tonight. How are you guys feeling on this Monday evening here? Now, this is going to be a little different. We're not going to be uh, doing a whole six-hour excursion. This might be like an hour, two hours, three max. I was planning on watching a little bit of Aaron since the last two nights. Seemed I, I've seemed to pique his interest a little bit, so we'll see if that continues tonight. So we might stream snipe him, but I don't want to really like go down the whole Patrick Melton route, right, where I'm watching his whole show. It's like, you know. That's it. It's a little insane at times, but we might get into it. I don't know because I, I, Chad was going to uh, hate watch and stream snipe him tonight. But I, so I was just watching uh, Mondays with Mazer, the new hit show on Mondays. Uh, the whole resurgence of Chad Zumach uh, is breathing new life into his shows with 130 live viewers. Give it up for Chad Zumach. Hey, man, I, I'm seeing a, a lot of shit with Chad, too. Uh, you know, this police report that's going around. Patrick Melton, uh, you know, says he has an inside scoop that he's going to be going live tonight. I mean, there's a, you know, the, the next couple hours could be uh, very fucking interesting. Uh, no Alex in studio tonight. So Alex is going to be calling in on Skype and he'll be giving you guys his thoughts on the whole Corey uh, interview, the fallout of the whole Corey interview. So it should be uh, a lot of good things. Red Bar is live covering steel. Oh, dude, so it's just it's the steel toe cancer. Everybody is covering steel toe, right? 
I mean, geez, dude. It's like almost, I almost don't want to do it anymore. It's at, at this point, it's just like literally everybody is covering it. I think my grandmother actually just started a podcast, and she's actually starting to cover the Steel Toe show. I mean, holy shit. Steel Toe is up for slaughter. Yes, he's being sacrificed by Sir Mike David. Uh, who started first? Mr. West, what are you referring to? Who started what first? Mike Check, Softcast in the building. What's going on? PA Dabbling Dad, what's going on? You guys look fucking great tonight. Hey, man. You know, like I said, this was just like a spur of the moment thing. All this talk with the, the Corey Adam and, and Aaron last night and, and today, just like really trying to get me back in his good graces. And, you know, I've said this before. I mean, it shouldn't be any secret. I'm not like I'm not shying away from this. Did I watch Steel Toe a couple months ago? Sure. I think we all have watched Steel Toe and kept an open mind. I don't just come across things and automatically hate it the first time I lay my eyes on it. Right. It, it takes me a while. I have to see what, you know, people are about uh, all about, essentially. And uh, the more and more I watch Steel Toe, the less and less I like them. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. It's not, you know, rocket scientists or rocket science, rather. Uh, let's see. Who started first? Okay, I already read that chat. Uh, he thought we would all go away. Yeah, we're not going anywhere, man. Like I said, it. you know, I don't know how much coverage, you know, we're going to keep doing on this. I mean, for the, for the foreseeable future, we'll be on Steel Toe for sure. But, you know, after a while, it's just like, holy shit, guys. Give it a fucking break. Uh, let's see. I don't understand how anyone could watch Steel Toe Morning Show and not see it was a complete garbage in the first five minutes or less. Yeah, well, you know, that's fair. Look, you know, usually, uh, you know, on my uh, morning commutes and shit like that, you know, uh, I'd like to throw on podcasts. And I'm not sure about for you guys, but the Steel Tone Morning Show, four or five months ago, whenever I found them, I mean, they were, like, flooding my algorithm. Like, who the fuck are these guys? Like, I, I'm not subbed, never liked any one of their videos. I don't know any of their co-hosts. So why are they being pushed into my algorithm? And one of my first thoughts, uh, you know, obviously, was the set, man. I, I, I lay my eyes. And I'm big on the set. Some of you might roll your eyes like, dude, why are you so fucking rock hard about his set? It's like, bro, because it's just a reflection. The first five minutes, like uh, Andre the Giant Faggot says in the chat, uh, like, you know, the, the first five minutes you, you watch somebody, uh, the first five minutes you lay eyes on them, the first thing you see is, is a shitty set with a, you know, fucking... Uh, an Amazon tapestry in the background for fifteen ninety nine, and you know, I mean, that should tell you everything right there. I don't need to take it any further. But you know, I, I like to give things a chance. I don't want to just fucking immediately write things off. But I mean, automatically, red flag is already docked in the book for the Steel Toe Show. So, all right, guys. Uh, yeah, man, we're gonna have a good show tonight. Alex is set to join us here in just a few short minutes. Uh, it's almost seven thirty. I want to take a shot, get into my first shot here, extra hot here tonight, hot under the collar, holy shit, let's get a shot in, man, we're going to call Alex, we're going to, uh, we're going to break this all down, today's fucking course of events, last night's events, it's been a while since I've done a solo show, I don't even have a song lined up, like I said, this was all kind of just thrown together within the last couple hours. Uh, do you, any requests from the audience you guys want to hear a specific song? I'll throw, I'll throw a song on for you guys. I'll do a double shot too. Cheers, everyone. Here's to a, uh, here's to a great show. Another Steel Toe morning show coverage episode from here at In The Pain Podcast. Uh, yeah, guys, this is going to be a good show. So sit back, uh, have a drink with us, smoke with us. Uh, Steel Toe imploding. Yes, Sam V. Steel Toe is imploding. I just caught my first pod of Steel Toe a week ago. So a lot of people are, are, are relatively new to the uh, to the Steel Toe world, it seems. I mean, the Reddit was just created like fucking, what, three weeks ago? And, I, and I've been on record saying that the Steel Toe Morning Show, or the Steel Toe Boring Show, rather. Sorry, no disrespect. But the Steel Toe Boring Reddit, possibly, it might be the most effective Reddit of all time. Given that it was created three weeks ago, and now we are watching... I mean, don't let Aaron fool you. Aaron is spiraling out of control. So don't get that shit twisted. Just created and is at 600 subs. Well, 500, right? I believe it's at 500. F yeah, about four. I'll refresh it real quick. Cheers, guys. Happy Monday to everyone. 
Oh. Yeah, 490. So Steel Toe is uh, set to kick off at 8 o'clock, the bottom of this hour. And like I said, we're going to throw them on the TV here and see what they're talking about. But all right, let me get to the question that everyone has on their minds today. Am I a Steel Bro or not? I mean, that's really what, you know, that seems to be, since that, like I said at the top of the show, uh, that Corey Adam interview has sparked a lot of questions. And now Aaron is running with this whole thing. Like, yeah, win by two radio. If, uh, if you're willing to let bygones be bygones. My stream deck wants to update in the middle of the show. Uh, if you're willing to let bygones be bygones, then, hey, man, uh, you know, I'm willing to, again, his, uh, you know, catchphrase of the century. I'm willing to wash my fucking hands. Yes, you are, Aaron. Because, you know, it's a fun fucking show, Aaron. This has been a very fun show. Very fun show. Very fun week. But my answer to all that, Aaron is simple my answer is i can never like your show dude i gave you a shot right like i said i gave you the shot a, a couple months ago and the steel toe boring reddit and myself and a lot of other people chad and patrick and now everybody who's covering the steel toe uh morning show as like a regular bit now it's just impossible for us to like you and we've called out the the begging and just the the awkwardness and we've called it all out time and time again and you've done nothing about it if anything you've doubled down the lies the way you treat april the prize nights so you know my answer is simple aaron this is not a uh, a friendship that was ever made did i watch your show a couple times Maybe even tossed you a few bucks because, hey, man, fucking, you know, you're doing a podcast. So if I was a creator, I would throw myself a few bucks. So here's a fucking uh, 10 spot for you. You know what I mean? Dude, I, money isn't a big concern for me, right? Uh, that doesn't make us friends. I mean, in what world do we live in where a five ten dollar $10 super chat makes you fucking friends and allies? No. Couldn't be further from the truth. Aaron is a walking meme. Yeah, you're absolutely right, dude. The new, uh, as a lot of people say, the uh, new Stuttering John 2.0. But everyone's turning on uh, one another, man. Muttering Jay is turning on Patrick. Uh, now Patrick Melton has uh, developed this new nickname. Melt, uh, what's it? Meltdown Melton. It's pretty funny, actually. Meltdown Melton. Everyone's turned and no one know, knows what to do. I made it pretty fucking sim uh, you know, clear last week, I feel. You divide from within. You divide from within. And then you attack. It's simple, right? And that's, you know, it, I've been on air saying it's no secret. Uh, you know, you di divide from within and then you attack. And that's was my thinking getting Corey on. Notice how Corey was supposed to be on today, and he wasn't on. Matt, uh, Patrick Melton pointed out today on Nobody uh, Likes Onions. Shout out to Pat and uh, NLO. But, uh, yeah, Corey uh, was supposed to be on that show, and he wasn't. And now is Co and Johnny, it, you know, now if Johnny's sick, we uh, obviously wish him well. I, I don't wish ill will on anybody. But if Johnny is sick, get well soon, Johnny. But it's just a coincidence. Corey's fucking not hitting shows. Johnny's not hitting shows. April looks miserable. She was caught drinking last night. You know, I think we have that clip from the Steel Toe Boring Reddit. Poor Mega Mind uh, has to drink on the show now to look more relaxed. So let's watch this shit. Hopefully my Reddit is working. I tested all this before the show today, and it was working. I don't know what the fuck was going on on Saturday. That was really fucking upsetting. I, look! I'm not... I'm not gloating. I'm not doing anything. I'm just, <laughs> I'm right here. I know I'm, uh, I, I know, I know this is going to. And she sips. She's a sipper. She's a sipper. So now she has resulted to drinking on the show. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting shit, huh, Aaron? You're, re you're, you're forcing your wife just heartache it's gonna be uh, less than six months before she pops out her first gray hair and she's not even 30 the fuck years old i mean how does that fucking you know reflect on you as a husband as a father 
Come on, man. We can never be friends. Why would I want to be friends with you? Although, guys, this is pretty big news. I did get a special something today in the mail. I would like a little uh, round of applause here in the chat, a little drum roll, maybe a little, a little bang in here on the desk, a little brrr, brrr. There we go. Going to get my tongue rolls down. I did get a little special something here uh, today in the mail, guys. Let's see if anyone can guess it. Let's see. Nobody yet. Nobody yet, but I something special came in today in the mail, man, and I was fucking pumped because I was waiting on a, a piece of merch. Got them not to be confused with merch. By the way, I seen someone say that in in the beginning of the show. They were like, uh, "What's this like Nightwave Radio?" And look, I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not, but if this was like Nightwave Radio, I would probably hang it the fuck up. And you know what I mean? It would just be I would just you know that would be disgusting. That's repulsive. I would never want to be like merch. I, by the way, I am checking out, I'm in the middle of uh, the porcelain doc, uh, documentary. I don't even know what the fuck it's called, but it's the Mersh documentary. I'm only on part one, and I'm almost finished. It's been recommended to me by so many of you, and, and thank you to you guys. It's actually a fucking solid watch, Porcelain Man. I mean, he does great fucking work, so shout out to Porcelain. But we are going to be starting to look into Mersh after the Steel Toe Saga, Mersh and Anthony Cumia. I mean, I had them on Saturday. We were watching some of their clips and, dude, they just, I mean, oh, my God. Uh, but th the crazy thing is people fucking support them. I think Alex just texted me here. Let me see. So he had to change the light bulb in his room. So Alex is going to be joining uh, joining us on Skype. Someone says stickers, huge stickers. No, no, it's no more Aaron Fatheads. Uh, let's see, no one. Okay, but now, it, this was a little long overdue. Now, I was kind of upset because I wanted to have this on last week, this past Saturday, and the week before, but it didn't come in. But it finally came in, guys. Drum roll, please. Give myself a drum roll. Oh, I'll just fucking show you guys. Love Until Forever by Ashley LaRue. It is here. The hardcover copy is here today. So I think we're going to be doing a live book by book, page by page review of Love Until Forever on Saturday. We will be reading that. And, uh, you know, it's it's good, man. Support, uh, support Ashley, right? She's a published author. I mean, this book looks fucking very well put together. Looks like she knows what she's doing. She's got the pictures. And for an idiot like myself, I am a picture book kind of guy, right? Uh, you know, this one page doesn't even have 15 words on it. And for me, that's like perfect, right? I could get through the book in a timely fashion. I'm not sitting here reading fucking Harry Potter or like a, a thousand page novel that by the end of page one, I'm exhausted from like from reading and I'm just like, yo, fuck this shit, right? So Ashley LaRue's Love Until Forever, support her now today, Fox Point Publishing, uh, you know, it's just, it's just my way to say thank you. 26 bucks, by the way, for the hardcover copy. Uh, so this was a, a nice get, man. If, and I don't even have kids, right? So I, I'm literally going to read this myself. And hopefully I find some, the answers I was looking for. But uh, holy shit, man. Yeah, so this is a great book. Uh, I think Chad already read the uh, biography here in the back, so I'm not going to bore you guys with it. Yeah, it's uh, the about the author, Ashley LaRue. Yeah, and it goes on and on. But yeah, pick your copy up today. Fox Point Publishing, the soft copy, I believe, is only like 18 bucks. So if you want to pick your copy up uh, today for 18 I decided to spend like the extra $3.99 and expedited shipping so I could have it on the show as soon as possible. But it still took like two weeks to get. So it... Word of advice, if you're, if you're going to order the book, don't do the expedited shipping. Just get the regular shipping. Save yourself like 10 extra dollars. Uh, hardcover, soft, either which way is good for Ashley. I'm sure her and the kids are very thankful for everyone shipping in and supporting because we all know Megamind and Airhead Aaron will not support them, right? They will not support his, his kids. I mean, look at her. She drinks. She's a sipper on the show. She sips the beer. And what kind of beer is this, by the way? I should have deep dove into this, but I didn't. So let me pull out my magnifying glass here. And really, is that an old duels? Is that a non-alk beverage? I don't even know. A Samuel Adams, maybe? 
a Sam Ad- imagine that drinking a Sam Adams on your live stream. I come on here with some whiskey, you know, to kind of uh, break the tension and kind of get me going here a little bit. I would never fucking ever be caught dead drinking a Sam Adams on stream. That is a little fucking repulsive. What's up, everyone? Uh, hopefully, everyone's having a great Monday tonight. We're going to bring Alex on uh, here just a second. We got a couple clips to get to, and we are going to be playing, I think, for a little bit, uh, maybe just the first hour, and we'll see how it goes. The Steel Toe Morning Show or the Steel Toe Evening Show on Monday night. Alex is ready to go. Koala in the chat says, let's fucking go. Yes, let's fucking go. This is, uh, you know, something different for us. I I told you guys uh, on Saturday that starting in April, not this April, of course, but starting in April, the month of April, we would be doing an extra live show throughout the week for our members. And we've been doing it, uh, you know, we've we've done a couple weekly streams, but starting in April, uh, these weekly streams will be for members only. So uh, if you sign up to uh, the channel today, and this is really the only plugs I'm going to give to our channel, is if you want to become a member, you will be getting an extra weekly show a week. If not, you will get the Saturday show, and all is good in the world with that. So uh, Alex is in the chat now. I just needed a second to get my man bra on, he says. (laughs) Alex is now sporting the man bra. It's, it's hey, it seems to be in fashion in 2023, in style. Uh, I'm taking tips from Aaron, dude. Aaron is fucking rolling, rolling with the fucking Benjamins, bro. Rolling with the fucking man bras and the Benjis. Everyone's donating to. I didn't think you. <clears throat> from a show of hands in the chat, did you guys think today Aaron was hitting that goal or not? Because I didn't. And then I don't even know who fucking David Chandler, maybe. Uh, And David Chandler gives him like fucking a thousand dollars a day. It's like, bro, like you have some like weird obsession with fucking Sir Aaron, bro. I mean, what a fucking guy. Imagine seeing somebody on a show with a fat head of you. And then then you come to the conclusion that, oh, maybe, uh, you know, we could become friends. I'm not your fucking friend, bro. I know that's, uh, Aaron's been quoted saying that uh, from Mersh. I'm not biting off of Mersh, bro. That would be the the most repulsive thing I could do. Like I said, that documentary by Porcelain is fucking on point. All right, let's call Alex here. Let's get him onto the show. We have a couple clips to dive into. I kind of want to get to him quick uh, because the Steel Toe Evening Show will be starting in about 17 minutes. And then, uh, you know, we'll be watching that for the, you know, better part of tonight's show. But if you wanted your answer here tonight, guys, the alliance between Win by Two Radio in the Pain Podcast and Steel Toe Morning Show will never be. So, Aaron, hey, man, I don't know what to fucking tell you. You should fucking uh, stop begging. And then maybe we could talk. Stop begging. Stop treating fucking everyone like shit. Stop lying to everybody. Stop grifting. uh, Stop banning people. Be honest, and then maybe we can have a conversation. Um, All right, let's get Alex on, and then uh, we're going to dive into some of the clips from today, and then we're going to get into the Steel Toe Evening Show tonight starting in just about 16 minutes now. So let's open up the Skype and see Al Clembo. Let's give him a call here. I got to set this up live on air. Yellow can hear you. A lax soft cast. Al rules. My son Gus. Appreciate the two bucks, man. Shout out to your son Gus. Seems like a a fucking awesome fucking uh, dude. Uh, Clem, can oh, yeah. uh, now oh, I can hear you. Hear you. Me now. now I can hear yeah. you. You can hear me, right? Uh, you friend. What's that? I can hear you. Okay. Cool beans. Let me share my screen with you. Uh, how you doing? Oh, we'll save the intro. Let can me, you see me? Can't see you. No, I can't. Oh, shit. Got to work that camera, man. You got to jiggle those fucking cords, bro. Can you see me? I can hear a lot of feedback, though. So you might want to turn down the stream on your phone. I got you. Hold on. Should I have OBS open? No. Just Skype. Skype will do. That's probably why you want to close out OBS. It's probably using your camera in OBS. And, uh, you know, Skype doesn't read it that way. 
Can you still hear me? You can still hear you loud and clear, bud. All right. 1080 Pro Stream. There it is. I don't see it, but I'm just saying that would be the choice. Here, Al, why don't we do this, Al? Why don't you... Okay, oh, something's working now. 1080 Pro Stream. There Sorry, it is. Dude. All right, no, you're good, bro. You're good. All right, cool. You're in there. I see you. I hear you. Give me a thumbs up if you hear me. <clears throat> I hear you, dude. We are in there like swimwear, brother. All right. Uh, let me uh, fucking where's my uh, share screen mode here? Sorry about this, guys. Uh, one second here. Um, I gotta share all of my screens. Share computer sound. All right. You should be able to see everything with this. I see. What's her name? April? Drinking the Schlitz on my screen right now. Drinking the old duels. Uh, guys, you know him. You he's love him. He's our best friend. Uh, he's my best friend. He is yours, too. Ladies and gentlemen, some of you, uh, this is your favorite fucking part of the show here. Ladies and gentlemen, help me give a warm welcome to Alex Clemish, man. What's going on, brother? How you doing, dude? Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> You know, I'm not sure how I'm doing, bro, because I got some concerning news that we're, or you specifically, are a huge fan of Steel Toe Morning Show. Huge fan of Steel Toe Morning Show. Holy shit. You Where know, did we go wrong, dude? Where did we go wrong in life? <laughs> bro, I didn't know this, this whole Corey Adam uh, fucking interview was going to, you know essentially draw the conclusion of us being steel toe fucking simps you know Corey came on your show and laid down the ball <laughs> brother he was like not to give you guys a verbal blow job right off the bat but i love what you do <laughs> and al's the heart of the show baby right. you know look and we've said this <laughs> how insane is that bro like literally how insane is that yeah, we bring Corey on the show not because we want to fucking kiss up the steel toe. We want to get to the bottom. I, we were saying this last week, Al. We were saying how we divide from within and conquer and attack, right? So that is my thought process through this whole thing, right? And, you know, it, you know, most of you maybe uh, have not seen last week's episode. So if you did it, then, you know, you might uh, have thought that I was a steel toe fucking simp. But, yeah, dude, how insane is that, man? I mean, fucking, from one interview, now everyone's like, oh, dude, you're fucking, you're trying to suck up to them, you're trying to suck his nuts. It's like, holy shit, guys. Yeah, Aaron's really, really laying on the lies thick. But are we surprised? Not, no, not at all, honestly. Not in the slightest, not in the slightest. And for those of you in the chat, you think I don't see you, they're, 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 clowning on us bro oh we know you're friends with aaron behind the scenes bro <laughs> no no that's dude. hilarious that's hilarious I'm just throw yeah dude i'm just gonna throw that out there right now uh al uh a, a big part of uh saturday stream was uh, uh this this foe named kyle any kyle update at all or do you have anything to report to us or, or no i haven't really asked you this uh, kyle's in the chat dude but you know what i'm turning a new leaf bro okay all right. Oh, he said, get Alex on so I can roast him. <laughs> well, there he is, Kyle. So, well, there's a good fucking start. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to use the Hindu method, bro, and I'm just going to plow through this untethered, essentially. Well, that's all you could do, man. Uh, well, it's good to have you in the building, Al. Uh, look, I wanted to go over some things uh, from today. A lot of things happened uh, between last – well, really, since we signed off on Saturday until – this morning, uh, like, you know, I've been sending you videos. Steel Toe really can't keep our name out of his mouth. He's trying to form this alliance because he realizes right now everybody is turning on him, man. I mean, I don't know how many times I have to say this. I don't know if I have to learn a different language and then say it, like, in, like, Spanish or French to get the message across. But, you know, when, when somebody, like, when, when you're going through something like this, right, and everybody is turning on you, you know, you reach out for desperation. I mean, you, you've heard Steel Toe now the last week call out to Mike David and Mersh and you know, us. I mean, you know, it's God, we're not going to stay uh, save Steel Toe. We're not in the Steel Toe business. No, we're here to bury him. We're the graveyard keeper. 
and we're burying them alive, baby. Exactly, bro. Yeah, man. Uh, so we got a couple clips. We're going to watch Steel Toe Live in just about nine minutes here. So let's get to a couple clips. I wanted to bounce around from today's uh, Nobody Likes Onions uh, clip, uh, the Corey Adam fallout, and uh, a couple other clips I wanted to get to before we bring on Steel Toe Morning Show tonight. I think we're officially famous, John. We got podcasts that are watching our podcast and covering it. So it's a podcast on a podcast covering a podcast. Yeah, it's, yeah, dude. It's uh, a pod. Yeah. And just everybody wears hats now in podcasting. It's it's kind of sick. I almost want to burn this one now. But you know what? I, I will say it, and I'm not one to take credit, but at least our podcast, we get to the fucking point, dude. Because a lot of these people are just rambling on and rambling on. Yeah. About nothing. It's a show about nothing from nobodies to nobodies about nothing, dude. And it's not in the funny way either. Yeah, a lot of these shows, man, I mean, you know, they come on and just kind of run circles around uh, you with their fucking words for two hours. You guys are winding up donating, you know, your life savings to these people. And it's like at the end of the day, did you even like get any sort of fucking uh, any new information? Did you learn anything? Uh, were you in no. a... I, most people would – the only thing they would challenge you on is they were entertained. Now, that's debatable because uh, I guess being entertained and being funny is uh, all subjective, right? So it's like, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. Most of the shows that we watch here on this screen, we don't bring up on this screen for no reason. There's, uh, you know, obviously they're either boring, they're either hacks, they're either fucking not funny. Whatever the case is, they don't just make it up on here for no reason – we're not just I, I don't just spend time out of my day for, you know, uh, to watch funny shit and then report back. Look how funny this, you know, fucking podcast was that I found. It's like, you know, so funny, dude. I'm so hilariously funny. Uh, when I talk about Aaron's herpes. Hold on, I'm going to minimize you real quick. I got to take off this. Don't you fucking take me off that screen. Sorry, dude. I was going to make black ornament uh, really up, mad. Aaron. It's OK. It's OK. I'm I, just teasing. I have to fix some shit here. All right. So let's get to a clip. Uh, so I, I will say though, the good thing, and I think Pat is starting Pat Melton from nobody likes onions. Everyone probably in today's, in our chat today, uh, was probably over there this morning. So, uh, Pat Melton, uh, was on stream today and, uh, you know, he just stream snipes, uh, steel toe for like four and a half hours. It's actually pretty fucking funny. And he just zooms in on April's forehead. It's quite the spectacle. If you, if you are waking up at six o'clock in the morning and the first thing you see is, Somebody like Pat Melton on stream zoomed in on a fucking 10x zoom to April's big fucking dome piece. I mean, that's that's actually pretty funny. Uh, but Pat Melton was on today. And the one good thing, Al, from the Corey Adam interview, I feel like uh, we are kind of bringing people together. Uh, like I said, uh, on Saturday show, I, my gut tells me that Corey Adam isn't a bad guy. He is just a casualty of war uh, with this whole thing. And he's getting a bad rap uh, attaching himself to Steel Toe. But we found out today that Corey was supposed to be on today's stream. Uh, and Corey had to fucking take, uh, he, he couldn't be on. He, he had to take a pass, uh, a fucking, uh -oh. a sick time pass or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But apparently his, um, his record uh, label manager was in town. And, but then I just went on Twitch and he was streaming for seven hours. <laughs> Jesus. So it's like, which one is it, Corey? Are, are you so your timeline? Uh, I'm, you know, it doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. Either you were getting breakfast, and he just said he just woke up seven hours ago, and then he went on stream. So was he really with his, uh, you know, record label manager, or was he just like kind of? Is he just being like, wash, is he washing his hands with steel toe at this point? I, dude, I think I think your plan, your Napoleon Bonaparte plan to divide, destroy, and conquer. Is finally taking precedence because I find it incredibly suspect that his first show back after our interview, he bailed on it. Yeah, I mean that's kind of the conclusions I'm drawing out. Uh, you know, it's it, and this would look it would have been uh, you know a pretty big show for Corey Aaron Aaron. Uh, you know, having Corey on would have pressed him on the interview and would have kind of gloated and kind of you know uh, licked his own chops uh, for lack of better term. Uh, for coming on our stream and owning us. But, uh, I mean, that couldn't be further from the truth. The gaslighting is real when it comes to Aaron. We know this. 
We know this. So uh, for Aaron to say that, I mean, for anybody to even think that we were even <laughs> leaning towards Steel Toe's side, I mean, you guys have to, like, look yourselves in the mirror and realize, like, that couldn't be further from the truth. That's not what we do here. We don't take sides. I'm not in the business. I'm not in the Aaron M. Holt business. I could probably speak for Al when I say that as well. So let's- You know how much I care, care about Aaron and April, bro? As much as the Chipotle that I just had explosive diarrhea on my work break. <laughs> you sick fuck. Two pieces of shit. Uh, let's see. That's how I feel. St- yeah, Stevie J. Uh, what's up, Stevie J? Stevie J uh, made a nice comment. I uh, uh, on one of I think last week's stream he's like this aged like poor milk I'm like oh bro that's a sick fucking burn bro you got me man I'm gonna uh, hang it up I'm quitting is this 1936 and the milkman came to your door some expired fucking couches is I mean that what we're talking about he, he look he is a steel toe guy so I I, I look I, I don't cast anyone out I I believe everyone come will come around to this eventually all of their fans. Uh, you know, we'll come around to this, uh, and the people that are kind of on the fence about this whole thing, they will come around to, uh, you know, ne- they don't necessarily have to hate Steel Toe, but they will dislike them by the end of this whole thing. I can promise yeah, yeah. you guys that. We don't want, like, care if you hate them or dislike them. It's just admit that their podcast sucks, yes. dude. It's about nothing. Yes. That's all. Yes. It, 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 look, it, Al, you said this the other day. The first step uh, about... Or yeah, the first step about um, uh, having a problem is admitting you having that uh, having that it's, problem or something. Yes, like that. sir, dude. Taking accountability and acknowledging the problem at hand, dude. And that's yep. what they don't do. They're def- classic deflectors, which makes me believe. And we've talked about the suspected meth addiction. And there's two reasons for that: the, the money coming in from the donations, and then the fact that they live in fucking. Bumblefuck Minnesota, wherever they live. Yeah, Bump, Bumblefuck so, Minnesota is pretty accurate, Al. It is, exactly, and that's what I think is going on here. And that would explain also the delusions of Aaron's. He's got delusions yes. of grandeur, like he's fucking Howard Stern or something. It's like, bro, you got like 100 people in your fucking podcast chat. Like, you ain't doing nothing, bro. Right, right. Yeah, dude. Uh, but, you know, it's like. The delusions really, it, it, they get me, man. They remind me of uh, somebody we know uh, pretty close. And uh, it's always funny watching somebody, like, when they have this grand fucking delusion, right, that they're the shit. And they have to, like, repeat it, like, they have to look in the mirror and repeat that lie to themselves. Like, they are the shit. They are the shit. When everyone around them knows they're nothing, right, they couldn't amount to anything, and uh, they're hacks at the end of the day. Uh, you know, they have to, you know, forcibly tell themselves that they're the best, like they're Howard Stern. I mean, we heard Corey say that in the interview. Oh, I found my little Howard Stern on the prairie. I'm like, if you think Howard Stern and Aaron Hemholt are in the same stratosphere, bro, like you're smoking a different strain of fucking ganja than I am, dude. I mean, how many hot rails of meth do I need to sniff for to make that comparison? I, I mean, insane. Let's get to our enlighten. Me. Can someone enlighten me, please? Let's get to our first uh, clip out because the Steel Toe Morning Show they are set to go live like now. So I, I do want to oh. tune in for that for a little bit. I don't want to pull whole Patrick Mountain here uh, and watch you know the whole two and a half hour stream. Uh, Chad Zumach was actually supposed to be hate watching them tonight, but he bailed out. He says he's too tired. Now, guys, what is going on with this whole Chad Zumach thing? I think before we get into this clip, guys, this is circulating around Reddit right now, and I want to bring this up before we get into the whole Steel Toe thing. But uh, I think we left off Saturday stream kind of, uh, you know, unsure what uh, what to believe with this whole Chad thing, right? I mean, obviously, he's been on air today a few times saying the whole thing with Rover was untrue and Rover's a compulsive liar and don't believe Rover. And we're, we don't believe Rover, right? I don't even know who the fuck Rover is. Rover doesn't even have a video feed on his fucking uh, podcast. So, I mean, I can't Isn't even that s- a- isn't that the name of a Sesame Street character? That would be Grover, Al. Oh, all right. Close. I mean, yeah. Well, if, you add a G and essentially you have Grover. But, damn, dude. So, uh, you know, Chad is swearing up and down that Grover is lying. Whatever. I, I could probably get behind that. Where I can't get behind is this whole being jumped and Anthony Cumia sent his regards. I, I'm starting to believe that didn't happen. I'm almost willing to bet that didn't happen. And if it did, I'll eat my own words. I'll come on here. I'm a man, dude. I'll come on here and fucking admit my fucking shortcomings. And, you know, uh, you know whatever. I'll fucking, uh, you know, say it how it is. Uh, uh, Chad was telling the truth. All hail Zumach. You know what I mean? But until no that, way. Until that happens. Truth? 
until that happens, Al, I am just every day that goes on. I mean, we are now six days past the whole chat attack, and uh, we have gotten no further than we were, uh, what we were six days ago. Now, Patrick Melton from Nobody Likes Onions, he will be doing a uh, exclusive scoop tonight. So everyone in this chat uh, will probably head over there tonight around 11 o'clock Eastern time, which is like 8.15 or 8 o'clock Pacific. And he will be doing an exclusive scoop. So uh, I'm curious to see what he finds or what he found. But this uh, this is what's circulating on Reddit. Now, can you see this, Al? Uh, it's blurry. You got to read it to me. All right, I'll read it. So this is what's going on uh, around on the Reddits right now. Uh, Steel Toe Boring Reddit, to be specific. Shout out to the Steel Toe Boring Reddit doing fucking the Lord's work. Uh, so it says, subject, records center... To be determined, records document, and it's blurred out, body says, uh, read public records request on March 8th, 2023. So somebody put in a public records request from the Tampa Bay uh, Police Department. Uh, and it says, uh, dear blank media, on March 8th, 2023, the city of Tampa Bay received a public records request through the city of Tampa uh, public records center in which you requested. And it says either uh, occurred... March 7th or March 8th. The victim's name is Chad Zumach, uh, date of birth, 122774. 74 uh, requesting the incident report pertaining to Zumach reporting himself being a victim of an assault. And then it simply comes back. It says there was no uh, report found by the name or address sincerely city of Tampa. So, uh, I, I mean, I'm sure many of you have seen this, but if not, then, uh, you know, this is what's kind of uh, happening now. Now, Chad has since denied all this, obviously. And here, we're going to play a clip from Chad. I'm going to go to a clip uh, from Chad real quick. Now, I haven't even verified if this was real or not. Like, somebody could have easily just made a text document and fucking, you know, put it out there uh, and to kind of make Chad look bad, which I, you know, wouldn't be surprised. Uh, a lot of the Steel Bros, I guarantee Stevie J, you might be up to something like this, Stevie J. You would do something like this to make Chad... Look bad and Aaron look good, right? My eyes are on you, Stevie J. Kyle, you as well. Uh, wait, what's he say? Uh, keep a Kyle says, keep Alex off screen. If I wanted forehead, I'd go to steel toe. Oh, hey, you know what? I will actually take that now. I'll take that only because he is starting to come around with the forehead jokes. So I'll take that at your expense. My forehead ain't even that big. It's not big, bro. All right, so let's go to uh, let's go to this uh, clip here. I gotta pull it up. This was Chad's response uh, for the police report today. He was on Mondays with Mazer. This was just happening, so if you guys didn't see it, uh, you know it's just because it just happened like a half hour ago. So uh, let's go to it. This is Mondays with Mazer. It's Chad Zumach. Uh, uh, fucking, I forget the kid's first name. Mazer. Tony Mazer. That's what it is. Tony Mazur and Chad Zumach do a podcast, and Tony asks Chad, what's going on with this whole thing? Did you get a, uh, you know, a visual of the suspects? Did you, you know, uh, hear what they sounded like? Is there any footage, anything developing? Chad says this. There's other factors. Now, <clears throat> you are somebody that, you know, you, uh, so, th well, this all happened last week. What did these guys look like? Were they... Uh, and and who do you think they were associated with? Because I know you said that they said something about stay away from Kumia or Compound, but were they more of like a steel toe thing? Was there rumors of uh, a certain bar up in Minnesota where they vacation in Florida? Like, I, I, again, I'm trying to piece things together myself here. That's Patrick Melton. <laughs> they're pulling all these theories. And I don't know, with all the crazy people, I mean, there was a guy – who was uh, that, that dude who's, who, who literally booked a ticket to fly down to fight me? Like, I mean, you people send me shit to my house. Every, I don't know how they got my address and why they're sending me Cheesecake Factory cards. And it's nice, but it's creepy. It's weird. But yeah, the whole thing was just like, it was a blur. The whole thing was a blur. It's an ongoing investigation. They're looking so real quick, Stevie J in the chat. I just want to pause this and say this because he makes a good point. But I know he's a steel bro, so uh, but he does make a good point. Like two things can be true at once. But he goes, uh, Chad gave up sobriety, uh, and he's lying about stuff. Uh, and you know, Chad, I believe uh, going into the new year was trying to remain abstinent from 
alcohol. Um, and I think since fell off. Now, we all know uh, an, al- uh, an addict and an alcoholic's tendencies, when they do fall off that wagon, man, it could get pretty fucking brutal. Uh, it, you know, the lies, just the, the deception, uh, you know, and would it surprise me if Chad is in a tailspin of his own right now and he's kind of faced with this, you know, uh, scenario where he's like, really, I mean, Chad is, you know, I'll give credit where credit is due. Chad is like the fucking hot topic of the internet right now. So he's faced with this, uh, you know, resurgence in his own, uh, you know, right. And, uh, you know, he's faced with that head on with, you know, a possible alcohol tailspin addiction. And now he finds himself lying, possibly stealing Cadillac converters. I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, so that could definitely be one possibility. But uh, the fact where I'm going to keep pressing on this is, Chad, it's been six days. I get it. It's an ongoing investigation, but we haven't learned anything new in six days. And you're the type of person where if you have that information, you would flaunt it to shut everyone the fuck up. And the fact that you haven't, it, it just you know, it doesn't look good. And it leads me to believe that there's some sort of lies and manipulation going on here. So let's just finish this clip, and then we're going to go over to the Steel Toe uh, morning or evening show, rather. Looking into it. They're checking the neighborhood. They're checking where they might have gone, seeing cameras with that. So it's a thing that's happening. And I don't know. I take the same route for the everyday pretty much pretty much every Tuesday for the last three years. So it's not hard to find me. They found out where I lived, and it's an easy thing to set up if you're paying attention. But I don't know. It's freaky. It's weird. I don't like it. I don't like all the shit that came with it. But um, – I don't even know what your question was at this point. Well, it, it was more so like what they looked like, like who, what, what did, were they, did they wear masks or something? Did they conceal their identity? Have you ever been attacked, Tony? Uh, only online. From, from behind. <laughs> and you're only just, online. <laughs> and then you get punched in the face and you're, you're in a fetal position holding your face. You're not really kind of like, let's get a look at these guys. I was like, no, don't hit my face anymore and stop kicking me. But they kind of rolled. They're bigger dudes. All I remember is a bike wallet. Uh, one guy had a stocking cap on. Uh, another guy had a hat on. It was okay. pitch black. So it's, I mean, they're looking like if you were the- in court and you had a sketch artist, uh, how and you had the artist say like, well, what were their description? Would you say they were about six foot tall? Maybe maybe five eleven? Maybe whatever. You just start sketching things out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't even. Know to, I don't even know how to answer that. So <laughs> I didn't get a good look. I didn't get a good look. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm just wondering because I'm just I'm going through. I mean, this is my question, right? You, you have this black eye now, unless you got hit from the back, right? So if someone's running up behind you, they would have to do like this clothesline hook and directly hit you right in the eye, which is a hard punch. Or the other scenario is they could have came up from the side of you. But to get your eye would have been hard, like more you know, likely than not, they would hit the side of your face. So what I'm saying is uh, they would have hit you dead on. So you would have at least got a glimpse. I mean, you're saying here that there was this bike chain on his wallet. I believe he said a flannel, uh, you know, was wore by this uh, gentleman who did jump him. And we know Cheeto from Stoney's wears flannels. He's got this bike chain that he wears on his pants that's uh, been uh, eloquently pointed out by the Steel Toe Born Reddit. My question to Chad would be, did you know about Cheeto before you gave this description or did you make up this description after you saw Cheeto and then ki- are kind of trying to frame it over to him? So uh, these are just questions like I'm saying. I'm not saying it's one way or the other. I'm just saying uh, the more time that goes on, the worse it looks for Sir Zumok. So, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what we got out. Do you have any thoughts on uh, this whole Chad Zumok thing? What's your kind of gut uh, reaction to this whole thing, dude. I don't even know where to start with Chad. I mean, now we caught him in a lie. I think we confirmed it with that police. Well, no, the police report that doesn't exist. And then we had Kumia go undercover with Chad's stinky poopy finger, and it <laughs> yeah. looks. <laughs> yeah, he was zooming in on Chad's finger. You, this is what it's like when you work construction for six hours yeah. and don't use hand sanitizer after, Chad. Imagine, so it looks like imagine, you wiped your ass and picked your eye. Imagine getting zoomed in on by Anthony Cumia. The sheer thought gives me the fucking heebie-jeebies. Oh, me too, dude. Oh, my God. Like, Anthony Cumia is like, 
he's the most legit radio broadcaster, right? Like, out of all these Steel Toe, Chad Zumach, Mersh, Melton, and he's really covering Chad Zumach's poopy finger. I can't <laughs> believe it, dude. Yeah. Can you? That, or am I just. No, I, up? I can. No, I can. Just because Compound Media is a dying, uh, it's a dying fucking, you know, brand. Um, and, you know, Anthony will, you know, swear up and down that he's not, you know, you have to do more than just get into the drama. But as soon as there's any fucking mention of his name or drama to be fucking had, he's going to dive into it, right? And that's just who he is. I mean, that's how his career was, like, pretty much built with drama. Opie and Anthony, I mean, they're notorious for that, right? Uh, you know, they... Yeah, the, shit the shock jock, uh, you know, uh, fucking style of radio was almost invented by them. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me, uh, but it's just, it's hilarious nonetheless that Kumia would be zooming in on Zumok's crusty, dark, black finger. Uh, I don't know. Pretty funny shit. Yeah. Uh, so do you think, uh, does your opinion change from Saturday or do you still kind of uh, are up in the air with the whole thing? No, I, it, I changed it. Like, I think he's definitely lying now. I think we got confirmation with that police report. Fair enough. Well, you know what I mean? No police. That there's with not. The, yeah, with, with the zero, yeah. uh, the lack of police report. All right, let's. Yeah, uh, no evidence. You know, what do you guys think? Chad is lying, no doubt about it. Right. Look, I, I definitely think something happened. Obviously, I think we all think the black eye is real. You, I mean, that's not makeup. So we're not saying that. Uh, it, it's just more or less how it happened. Now, he's saying he got jumped. I would push back against that very hardly and say that's not how it went down, Chad. Uh, you know, uh, and until proven otherwise, that's what we're going to say. We're not running with a conspiracy over here. We're simply just pointing out that you haven't produced any evidence uh, besides a black eye. And until you do, this is what people are going to be talking about and saying. So, you know, you're not doing yourself any favors. Al, uh, let's let's check in with the chat. Uh, I'm going to pull up uh, the Steel Toe show. But if you want to check over with the chat for me uh, while I pull this up. I got you. You might want to uh, turn me off the camera while you're putting on the Steel Toe Show because I'm probably going to strangle myself if I have to listen to five <laughs> more minutes of Aaron and April talking. Um. Now, I, I well, I see that would be foolish of me. I want, I would want you on camera while you were strangling yourself. I mean, you know the ratings we would get for that, bro. Pro yeah, we'd probably blow up and uh, people would just be. Probably making fun of me. <laughs> they would. They look at that fucking forehead. <laughs> Thank God that guy, the kid's dead. <laughs> yeah, thank God he's dead. <laughs> Fuck him, right? Yeah, dude. They're Jesus savages, bro. Shit. I know. I'm only kidding. I love you guys. Uh, it looks like uh, Aaron tonight is solo. Can, now, can Oh, my you, God. That sounds horrible. He is solo right now. April does usually come in late on Mondays. So let's go over to the Steel Toe Evening Show. Uh, look, Stevie J is in their chat right now. So he's riding both sides. That's kind of... Uh, Kind of lame, Stevie J. He's definitely a steel bro. I mean, look at him. Ice, uh, what's he say? Uh, awesome Iceland money. Because someone do, uh, don donated, uh, I guess, a dollar or 1500 in Iceland money. So Stevie J is uh, there and he's proud, man. Hey, even Icelandic funds can go in the can, bro. And dude, uh, I don't think meth drug dealers discriminate against uh, Iceland. Currency forms? Currency. Yeah, me, yeah. Ne me neither. Now, guys, I'm, with it. I'm not suggesting you go over and do this, but how hilarious would it be, hypothetically, if a bunch of our guys went over to Aaron's chat and were kind of started to fuck with him? I, I don't. I'm not saying this is what I support. I'm just saying it would be funny if that were to happen. Uh, but let's uh, let's go over to uh, let's, uh, let's go live into the Steel Toe Evening Show tonight and let's see what Aaron is talking about. Is he dropping our name anymore? Do we need to call oh, him out? Uh, let's see how this all fucking unfolds. Be out. done with this guy. I mean, see it. I know, we've said it a million times. You know, it's Godfather Part 3. When I think I'm out, they pull me back in. But he said, it, you know, you watch it to the end, you're like, okay, this is done, this is boring, this is over with. And then he goes, in those last 60 seconds of that documentary, something happens where you're like, so he's talking all about right, Chad. fine, I'll do another episode. So where we're at now, if you missed it, Chad had that big yep, swollen talking eye. talking about Chad. And he claimed he was being attacked. And uh, it, it turned out, he, he claimed it was Kumia. He claimed it was us. He claimed it was Carl. 
Uh, okay, a misconception he, uh, that could be made right off the he bat here is that comments. me and Aaron do agree on now, this. Is, that does not Florida make me a steel bro. Him. Let's get there one no thing clear. Report. Two things could be true at once. Uh, he, he did not go to the this hospital. is about you Chad. This is not about me liking like Aaron. This is about questioning Chad. They Keep that in mind. Off your face. They clean off your arms and your hands so you wouldn't get it infected. They don't want you touching it. So the, the beat-up thing was a total lie. Rover went on his show in Cleveland on Friday, and he said, Chad Zumach pulled this same shit here in Cleveland eight years ago. He said, two guys jumped him, beat the shit out of him, and said, don't mess with Rover. Same thing he did, only substitute Kumia for Rover. Then, I guess a couple of years ago, Chad made up a story that he got robbed at gunpoint. Uh, outside of a motel or something when he was getting something to and eat. For somebody, Again, no for report, Aaron to, no to, to keep going on to being out of the Chad business, for somebody being out of the Chad business, he sure can't get fucking Chad Zumach out of his mouth. Again, uh, just more lies from Aaron. Uh, you know, he's going to tell you one thing and then completely do uh, the complete opposite. And oh, now lying God, about look, the fight. And I'm sitting here going, She's not it'll even be with really him anymore. interesting to see. Good point. Because on any other show Lower that, that like, did an actual show, they would go, we're not dealing with this fucking loser anymore. We're not dealing with this dipshit Chad. He's an embarrassment to us. That's if you do a show. If all you do is read Super Chats all day and you have no other content other than yelling about people. So, yeah, so talking about Kevin Brennan. And I got to give them credit over on that show that Chad's on because I believe Big Kev said... I don't care if Chad faked his attack. He makes me money. I, I've i never seen a more Jewish Irishman in all my days. Uh, what with the kvetching and the, you know, looking at the bottom line. So kudos to him there. You so can't really this is attack a, a guy. You can't really fault a guy for being that open and honest. So now he's calling out uh, for help from Kevin Brennan. He's trying to get Kevin Brennan back in his good graces. Something to watch out for. Kevin Brennan's not going to... Kevin Brennan shits all over this guy. Come on. I actually commend Kevin for that kind of honesty. Look at this fucking... Saying oh that, my God. you know, I, look, I don't care how embarrassing and humiliating and it's how fucking terrible this guy is. Unbearable. I can't give up the gravy train. It's admirable. Uh, well, this tweet today, and uh, Muttering Jay covered this. Muttering Jay. <laughs> this wow. Was, this was too much. <laughs> Trying to get Muttering Jay Can into his Can we blow up graces. the picture here? Okay, yeah, there Kevin it is. Kevin hates Steel Todd. Uh, this is a Chad Absolutely. Zumach tweet from today. I've gotten confirmation from a very reliable source that Joe Rogan has been following my situation on my show and MLC. This is how hot I am right now. He's actually, he's, he's trying. Yeah, Kevin is actually pretty funny. I have funny. this feeling that Steel Chad believes the rest of the corny. world is as fucking stupid as he is. I don't think he understands that he's the dumb guy. Finally, you know, they say in poker, sense. if you can't spot the sucker in the first 15 minutes at the table, you're the sucker. That's Chad. But Chad doesn't know he's the sucker. He's just looking around going, well, I can't figure out who the dumb guy is in this. So you know what? Maybe they're all dumb guys. That's what he's thinking. So he goes with... So, sorry, guys. I'm going to be periodically just, like, muting this shit. and giving you my thoughts here in live time. Uh, but Aaron doesn't... I don't even think Aaron understands what he's doing right now. It, I mean, this isn't a way to get Chad then, off his coattail. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, Aaron was saying for the last couple of weeks he just wants to starve everyone of oxygen. Well, guess what, bro? You're fueling the flames. So now everybody's going to be hate-watching you live on their show. For the next fucking, probably until you quit. So, I mean, this is where we're at now. Good job of uh, smothering the flames. You're, you're trying to build these crazy alliances with me and uh, you, Al, and uh, Muttering Jay and Kevin Brennan and Red Bar and fucking all these guys he's trying to fucking get on his side so he could fucking, kind of, you know, essentially just give up and, and wash his hands and let other people fight their uh, his own battles. But that's not going to work, man. He he just he just uh, extended his fucking time in hell essentially by like six months. I'd say we're 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 dude. We're going to be covering this guy for the foreseeable future. I'm sorry. I wish I wish Did I felt something. We fans of his. Yes, that's all. Sorry, I have that. Clip. that that's we're the play biggest that disappointment in a little bit here. You know, my my whole broadcasting life, I could be like, I'm primed for this moment. I'm ready. Yeah, it's and not now working that it's at here, all. I'm like. Holding a midget's head while he swings at my stomach. Keel right? says, not working at all. It doesn't feel like I thought it would. Eddie S. says, few months into this yeah. show, and I really enjoy it. Been watching Red Bar for years. Yeah, and the only reason I pissed Mike off and, and shit on him was, and he still holds uh, a grudge, 
is a year ago, he came out out of nowhere and told everyone, don't listen to that show. I'm banning you from listening to it. Don't listen to me and listen to him. And so I, I go, I know how Mike is. I got to punch him in the fucking mouth. I got to make fun oh of him. Oh, my God. So dude. I did. Then the Sven thing came out where he confirmed the diaper thing and the illness thing and all that. And that Mike was kind of changing. And, I, you know, I made something on that. So I look, I don't blame Mike for being upset. I don't blame Mike. For feeling like he has to come after us. I'm just saying. This is unreal, dude. It's not what I thought it would be. That's all. Maybe, you know what? Maybe this time will be different. Maybe, uh, maybe this time it'll be different. All I know is, you know, we're on our way up. We've been on YouTube less than a year. And he's, you know, oh, coming off the one year thing. Uh, the big, big well, actually, the Mike Davis actually going man, on train. a year back. So. Uh, no, he's not just coming off the one year see. thing. Yeah, uh, that yeah, did happen. That's one of my brain. big things with Mike is he's he did take a year off. Now, um, you know, he does claim yeah. to have this disease he and that, uh, be, uh, he's very you. ill. That, that is, I don't know. I have, like I've, I've, I've never seen doctor's notes, so I, I have no fucking idea whether he is or, or he isn't. But he did take a year off and that kind of rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. But, uh, you know, to, to what Aaron's saying is, is like, oh, he's coming off that one year thing. Well, bro, that was last fucking May he returned. So, I mean, now we're almost in April. Of 2023. So, uh, again, this is just more desperate uh, desperation call-outs for I Red Bar. Get to it, he goes, I was joking. LOL. Isn't Red Bar like 70? Whoops. No, Red Bar is probably uh, like 42. Coffee, so maybe 40. No way. Old times. Yes. Yeah, by his ghost. Late 30s, stepdad. early 40s. Uh, Feed Nana says oh, there's shit. like three streams watching you right now making fun of you live. We're pretty, we're pretty great. Look at we're this guy, great. dude. Uh, Feed Nana says you're not Ali. <laughs> I know I'm Holmes, you fucking idiot. What are you? Five? Wow. You don't understand the Holmes Ali reference? Nobody likes onions. No, Mike would be His Ali. Views are a third case. of what I'm they Larry were. Holmes. Go look up there. Dude, in Pat, I can't be dude, bothered with people. NLO, bro. You can't get a simple Imagine trying to run a show uh, and you have Mike three show other shows covering you in live time, and those other shows are just uh, pulling your money and pulling your that's viewership. Dude, I I, that so. would fucking piss me the fuck off. So he's gonna play it off like it doesn't bother him. That's what happens when you ban everybody that doesn't agree with you. Good point. Good point. Can't be banning people in chats. Kidney stones would be a good one. They'd be original, at least. Uh, Kyle says, Win by 2 Radio is saying to their fans, the owner of Stoney's Cheetos attacked Chad. Are they still that's, running no, with that? That's not what I said. They had Corey on their show. I hope they realize now that they kind of look a bit silly. Uh, the win by two guys. But like I said, we're gracious winners. We'll, uh, we'll take their, uh, their <laughs> apology. And we'll, we'll accept it. Yo, we'll that's let, so uh, fucking bygones funny. Be bygones. My apology. Uh, Nightshade this is my apology, bro. A nice two-piece middle we're, finger. We're, I'm not, man, dude, We're working come on. on it. it. I got your wife's book here. It's still in the audition here. stages. I, I don't know if it's going to make it. Love until forever. I don't know if Pick it's Pick up your copy it. today. Uh, Brandon with 10 bucks says, Rogan has definitely zero cares dude, it's, about It's just fucking Chad funny, bro. It's like, uh, First of all, we never said Cheetos attacked yeah. uh, like, like, Chad, right? So that's a, a bold face lie right there. But then the way Aaron fucking like, he, he doesn't know about gloats about this whole thing face. as if, like, you know, he's winning what's going on in the chat is fucking well. disgusting. So I I wouldn't sit by the phone if I Just more chat. gaslighting. I, I, I wouldn't wait for a, a Jamie He ain't winning uh, shit, bro. Everyone's turning on him, uh, and he's the only one calling out people, for, uh, calling out for, for help. Yeah, Jamie did. <laughs> Book chat uh, to people Rogan like Red Bar, Kevin so. Brandon, and all these all other right, people. Uh, That's you if you're winning, you're not I calling out for help. The, uh, gray Duckling or Wild Card? I Bro, gotta just yeah, check he this lies out really quick constantly. Uh, gray yeah, dude, he can't help himself, bro. Everybody's turning on him. You certainly are. He's backed buddy. himself into this you corner, certainly. and now he. I Thank feel you, like everyone. he has no choice. I guess, but to do this because there's no redemption. There's no redemption arc for a man that wears a girdle. And. That's a good point. But again, to the people who maybe uh, may just be joining us here tonight, the reason why we had Corey on again, I suspected Corey to be, uh, you know, a good guy at the end of the day, just caught up in this whole steel toe fucking thing and getting some of the brunt, uh, some of the hate uh, from uh, which Aaron, you know, fucking dishes out or not dishes out. But you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, the hate that is directed towards Aaron, Corey is getting some of that secondhand hate. So the reason why I had Corey on, and I said this two weeks ago, I'm, I'm not trying to hide anything here, but uh, it's divide from within and attack. So now all of our fucking spears are up, bro. We're all fucking aiming at you, and you're the only one fucking cowering, cowering, cowering away and calling out for help from the likes of Mike David, 
Red Bar, which would never come to your aid, by the way. Uh, Kevin Brennan, which thinks you're a laughing stock of the podcast world. And who else? Uh, Mersh. Okay. Imagine trying to fucking ask Mersh for help. Hey, it's me. It's Mersh from Nightwave Radio. What a fuck, dude. You have to be lost in life to ask him. That guy's a fucking asshole. Dude, you haven't even watched the porcelain documentary about Mersh, bro. I mean, that. watch that and then fucking, you know, come back and talk to me. I could just read his aura through a YouTube screen and see that he's a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Full court press attack and they could only lose a six. All right. Hey, guys. Uh, tell you what. So he's going to go the subscribe the subscribe route. button. We'll go right back to 9.2. Everybody. And then Kmart Ready can stop freaking out and being autistic over numbers. Actually, I'm not going to say that. Sorry, buddy. I, I think you're going from 900 subs when you came here from Twitch to going to 9,200. I thought that was amazing growth. Uh, I could be wrong. <laughs> oh, Bro, everyone hates buddy. your guts. It's <laughs> like, too easy now. Amazing it's growth. It's far too easy. You buy subs. You know what? Today's been a big day for Steel Toe. I guess the mind. Wait, I, I don't, I don't want to go close. out like just like with like bug zappers and swatting flies and shit. Uh, we finally got, and this happened a week ago. Right, so I, I can't believe stories. that so many of us missed this, uh, missed this, but I got it sent to me. And uh, it's Dave Landau. We were all wondering, you know, is Steven Crowder making his big, oh, they offered me $50 million, so go but they wanted his, it uh, proverbial and, fucking, and using that to like, there's a I'm a radio guy. I'm going to go into my next topic. Daily Wire and Blaze about Dave Landau. Different and What's like, the chat saying here tonight? He's got Do we have a split chat? Do we have a pretty uniform right. chat here? I don't know. But it's always, no, we got like always a 90% people uh, with us, always, and then there's uh, 10 the just... Libs. And I believe he's always people that think dress. Aaron's the Messiah uh, of the YouTube. Constants for Steven Again, Steven. onions well, go live so you can take away uh, views from Win by Two, who is David simultaneously David taking views and from David's Steel Toe. Kind of <laughs> That's pretty funny. Look, I'm not trying to do this for the whole night here. I just wanted to see, given everything that happened with the whole uh, the whole fallout of the Corey Adam comedy, I wanted to see if he brought us up. And sure as shit, we're not even what. 20 minutes in, 25 minutes in, 27 minutes to be exact. So he can't do that. And he already brought us up, so. And we ain't taking his viewers anyway, bro. We got our own people that want to watch us. Yeah, uh, we will be, I mean, we're only hop, We're only going to be on here for maybe like another hour. Pat. Uh, Pat's going to be on. Make sure you check him out uh, at 8 p.m. Pacific time, 11 Eastern. Uh, let's go, let's take it back to Aaron here. Dad, now, unfortunately, I'm toast, but I like this show also. Or, right. See, a man with some I, fucking I sense. Around, I couldn't How many times? It. Wait, hold on. Uh, nobody likes onions. How many times will he give us a chance but he to apologize tonight? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. I mean, and that's why I wanted to come on, to be honest with you, man, is like there is no apology. You know what I mean? Like, you would be a fool to think somebody like me or somebody like nobody likes onions is going to sit there on stream and apologize. For the fucking everything that Aaron has ever done, bro. The prize nights that Pat has pointed out. I mean, we've called him out for the grifting and the lying and the fucking begging and the shitty set and just... I mean, the, the list goes on and on and on. So, uh, there's no apology. Uh, that that ship has sailed. It's it's a desperate attempt to try to uh, call out for help for from anybody now, right? Like, he's like he's willing to take anybody. BYB podcast... Anybody, anybody with who has a podcast online, Aaron is going to reach out to you for help. He needs to build an alliance because we have built an alliance here. We have a common goal at the Steel Toe Boring Reddit, and that is to take this man down. Aaron has none of that. So let's play a little more of this. Let's see where this goes. We, we, I don't plan on doing this whole stream. But let's just play and let's see where this goes. I mean, right now he's covering Dave Landau. Now, Al, we actually covered this like four fucking weeks ago. You remember covering this podcast here? The Dave Landau interview? And then we covered Dave Landau's special? Yeah, the Don't Laugh Challenge. Yeah, so that was... not fucking funny. Uh, so that was four weeks ago. Wow. And this podcast that Dave was on was actually from before Christmas, I believe, or in January. So, 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 right to be up to date with your uh, topics there, Aaron. We're starting a movement here, and Dave's like, "Really? Because I'm a." Let me turn this up here a little bit. Let's let, let's go back to Aaron. Uh, it, I mean, this is insane, dude. The way this guy gaslights. What's his What does his chat saying here? You know, be like, "Oh, I'll ride or die for conservatism," because 
Landau seems like he's kind of like everybody, you know. Most yeah, I'll turn this up for you guys. Where he's like, yeah, I have my politics and I have my beliefs, but I don't want to do a whole show centered around my political beliefs. And, you know, I don't want to push them on the rest of the country and fight some kind of crusade and, you know, pigeonhole myself in, you know, that little hole. It sounds incredibly Why reasonable. Why has he got Billy Mays in the bills. bottom left corner? <laughs> yes, so I'm not going to uh, pretend that it's not uh, that's, a job where that's I'm That's not Billy Mays, bro. Right. That's actually Corey Adam Comedy himself. Money. Right. It's, it, it's oh, entirely yeah, all about you. that for me. I have no problem saying it. And it's not that I <laughs> don't see that, have right? the same belief structure as everybody That, that, that kind of so does look like Billy Mays Hayes, though. Because I do. It does look, it really looks like Billy Mays. Does look like, on, like, like that must be an old photo, that. I guess. Yeah. It's why a ton of the stuff. Right, let's let's see what he's going to do. Have, you know, and done with him and the ton of the riffs he and I have had back and forth. It's like, because there is part Unreal. of that. I mean, I absolutely do believe in a lot of the stuff that's going on. And, and Keel, is he and drinking tonight? Is Aaron drinking right now? I, I, I gotta tell you, drink. I really like Dave Landau a lot more after that explanation. I mean, it's it seems like kind of unlike Crowder, who's become a little unhinged. It seems like Crowder is. I wonder what he's like, drinking. You know, Crowder says, like, "Yep, just mission, saw it. The mission man. We What's he drinking on uh, tonight's Whereas program?" Whereas Lando's like, "Look, it's a gig." You I'm know? gonna try Calm to give him down. a cheers. You know, we'll tell some jokes. We'll talk about some politics. We'll try to make some sketches and write and be funny, uh, and then we'll, you know, we'll cash our paycheck and go home. That's a yeah, really yeah. Comedy hack says, uh, "Look at it." And then you go. Comedy with, hacks. I don't know if you were in the chat, but like, we oh, actually Dave, uh, did cover the Dave Landau uh, the comedy special. I bought it for a whopping ten bucks online, and uh, me and Al covered it on one of our shows, bro. And it was dog shit. It was complete and utter fucking dog shit. What's funny though, if you guys haven't checked it out, we were gonna play this last week, but just with all the steel toe things, we haven't really able been uh, been able to get to anything else. Check out the Glenn Beck Dave Landau interview. Glenn Beck oh, is an wow. he's an older podcast or not podcast he's an older like radio guy he started the Blaze TV and whatnot and Glenn Beck fucking calls Dave Landau special the most uh, like uh, edgy fucking comedy special of the last like decade I'm like bro like that is insane bro Dave Landau is not edgy he's not you know what I mean he he toes the line like he's very uh, you know. Uh, easy with his approach right he's not going to push too many buttons he wants dave landau wants to be like big time like the big time conservative fucking comic he doesn't want to push buttons and and go all crazy but check that interview out glenn beck dave landau the first like 10 minutes are pretty fucking funny but let's go back to aaron uh not too long ago go check out that Husey episode by the way it was really good and uh he w we were totally cool. We were totally fine. Then I guess he went on some other show and he was like shitting on us for not going to DabbleCon, which we had definite personal reasons why we couldn't go. And he, he kind of he got a little in over his skis on that. I, I like be dabbler. I really do. I'm sure I was just getting this secondhand from people. And I I've been in broadcasting long enough to know you don't take shit secondhand from people. You just don't. It's a it's a dumb way to go. Uh, Scarface with nine ninety nine says five and ten dollar hype train. Let the hype train wars commence. I have to. Uh, I ordered my stuff. I've got my 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 apparel for the hype train wars with Royce Lopez, and uh, I think Wednesday and Thursday, it will all be arriving. Very excited. What's he even talking uh, about? <laughs> Midnight Mike. Uh, somebody says is Aaron still banning like crazy? I haven't banned anyone. I've been. I was here. Okay. Who did you leave him with? I was. I was talking about fucking uh, Dave Landau over here. So he's changing his uh, tune. Nightshade says Landau has a fat wife. Now, how do you know that so that's Landau pretty interesting. has a hot Right wife? there, Al. Uh, how do you Aaron know? is changing his tune. Uh, oh, Last week, like we saw show nothing. Show. I mean, Friday. We'll just show. go that's to that same. Friday stream. We saw nothing but people uh, getting banned out of their chat, and now he's acting like he's never banned uh, anyone uh, in the Edward world. Says, uh, more yeah, and more I, gaslighting. I'm sure it'll be great. He lost uh, Crowder followers in two days. Yeah. Oh, Crowder named Landau? Like, called him out? I didn't know that. Hmm. Who's Bob? Kmart ready. Who's, what are you talking about? Bob uh, Kelly ben with Edwards a wig? says, Landau is funny, funnier than Crowder. Crowder whips himself into a frenzy, then pumps the brakes a month yeah, later. Yeah, dude. Uh, 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 Josie Masters or Jose Masters. Yeah. himself into a frenzy, then pumps Josie the brakes Josie Masters. A month later. Yeah, dude, he, if he could. Does he? I kind of feel like Crowder kind of beats the same drum. Wait, are you in both like, chats, I, I feel Josie? Like he kind of beats the same one. 
over and over now. Time out. Uh, does he really? I God, I guess I haven't watched Crowder uh, in years, I suppose. Uh, Landau's YouTube sketch videos are pretty good. Maybe not. Said Bill Fennett. Sound like he said Josie. I don't know. But is if he, Aaron could, he now? would suck Mersh's dick. A, Let that be known. Uh, I mean, that is a fact. He started a podcast with somebody. If Mersh, I know given the that. opportunity, uh, somebody, Aaron would do somebody it. Somebody saying about, who is it? Where is it? Colt C. About, that's not very nice. About Dave Landau's wife. She thick. Why? Why? Uh, sad boy uh, SBE says, Perry said it was Chad who sucked him off, and he jerked off Chad because he ain't gay. <laughs> then says, totally joking. Uh, King 40 says Crowder is a Canadian, so you know he's spineless. I'm going to zoom in on Aaron, so well, he's center frame here. Uh, Dave Landau left because he didn't want to be part of a movement. Oh, uh, look, he's drinking. He just wanted to I'm going to have one with him tonight. Like this is the second night in a row Something he's drinking now. So now he's you know, starting I, certainly we've to prime his audience. Some people get way too Cheers, Aaron. Shit. Oh. Mm -hmm. And you're just here to crack some jokes and make fun of some people. Woo! Steel toe! I mean, hearing what I heard tonight, I'm like, Would you say shit, he went hard in the paint? Yeah. He went hard in the motherfucking he, he, paint. Yes, he did. Break your I'm, fucking I'm, uh, face I'm tonight! But, uh, wow. I think barking up the wrong tree. Train, yeah, uh, 81 year old trapped here. in his car in a snowbank survives for Keel, nearly a You called that, Keel. Good fucking eye, Keel. You think Keel. being 81 years old and stranded Cheers, would be enough? Is he wearing going, a bra? You know I don't know. Does he look like he's wearing the bra tonight? This son of a bitch. At 81, what do you think, Al? Bra or survive? no bra? I just imagine myself at 81 looking uh, for like any reason to bitch, check out. So I'm going to say I look for any bra. reason to just go, oh. Well, it's actually a girdle. I'm going to uh, go to bed. Girdle, I'm right, take a right. Few pills what if we just zoomed sure in on his up. chest? Oh, fuck. Anything over 80, the whole I just stream. imagine you being ready to go. Would you rather, all right, dude? Like a constant pain. But I guess there's like. Dick Van Dyke, who's like Aaron 97 years old. Aaron Mantis. And Dick Van Dyke. Okay. Like, yeah, I'm or like a I'm intrigued. Thing, so. Chad poke you in the eye with his just, poopy finger. Whenever Chad I see Zuma. guys like Dick Van Dyke, I know they're the outlier. Uh, like, dude, uh, I'd take the, the poopy finger all day, bro. Oh, my like, God. Late yeah. Yeah. Ew. Yeah, dude, I'm not sucking not on anybody's nothing, bro. Just poke me in the eye with your finger. You know, guys, only if I can sit on April's actually, face and preferably forehead while I'm sucking the titties. Can, can, yo, can I change my answer? Uh, so this 81-year-old man. Jerry I would probably Curtis run away and find the closest and nine millimeter and uh, eat that nine millimeter. A week. Hypothetically, I really wouldn't do that, YouTube. YouTube. All right, let's, just let's take it back to Aaron. Shopping. Imagine being a show, though, guys. Imagine having a, a, a serious show, but the only way people could watch you is by going on other people's streams to watch you. How fucking pathetic is that? Holy shit. Wow. Accidentally veering onto a smaller road. 81, can't That's see shit. That's embarrassing. Storm. Jarrett's SUV became stuck. Hey, did you guys check out the Steel Toe show last area. night? Uh, yeah, but, you know, I didn't actually overnight. go on Steel Toe's YouTube. I was actually watching them Minnesota. on Win by 2 Radio or Nobody Likes Here's Onions. The, first of all, <laughs> what? You were watching them? What is that? Yeah, we were doing a watch-along party. Uh, you know, uh, Nobody Likes Onions was zoomed in on April's uh, forehead, and Win by 2 Radio was zoomed in on his tits. How fucking You're the locale. Aaron okay, is the new <laughs> locale, bro. The third day. Holy wow. shit, nobody checked on this old fuck for three days? What is he talking about? His car battery died while he was rolling the window This is what back I'm saying, up, bro. It's like it you have all this beef right now. Like, people are hate-watching you as you speak, and you're talking about carjackings that nobody gives a flying fuck about. For a week. Are leaving our mouth Sorry, home. I'm like really getting like so aggravated with this shit, bro. Uh, it sprung into action as soon as the winter, uh, raging winter storm allowed. It, it, it really has. Time, I won't. I won't stop until he's done. Buried in the snow. I'm starting to sound like Chad, crew but it, the that might be true. And transported like, him directly. You, all right, to Bishop. So I think we already kind of won, bro. Because like, even if he never stops, so many people just fucking hate him. Like it's never going to change. You know what I mean? So it's like, even if you keep going with it. Oh, wait. Nobody. Time out. Go ahead, go ahead. Finish that thought. But April just joined us. April is now sitting down. Does Aaron tell April that we are now watching, uh, hate watching them in live time? Hold on. Let me let me go in. Hold that thought, Al. 
and I put it right into the window, and I roll it up as tight as I can. I can Look probably at her hat. She is wearing a hat now. Oh, yeah. She yeah, is hiding like kind of her forehead. Away. Yeah, at 81 oh, years old, shit. she's kind of like... Oh, look at I, I don't want to rip off Pat like, Melton here, homes but... On the news when they celebrate I mean, how... Birthday. She's wearing a fucking hat like, on stream, guys. Oh, Fuck me to death. My, I'm here because my family's happy about this, not me. I'm not going to stay hurts. zoomed in on her the whole time, but I mean, that's fucking hilarious. It's supposed to hilarious. get better every year. That's Watch according to Rush Limbaugh. Yeah, how'd it work out every for him? Every stream. How'd it work out for him? Ooh, Ooh that's she it's says. hat night tonight for me. So oh, yeah? Yeah, I've got some confident. messy hair. Your hair is shit? That's, uh, yes. I received a few yeah. warnings on my way down here. What kind of warnings? Oh, you know, just the usual spurgs on my Instagram saying... Oh. Somebody's watching you. You're finished. I, I've, heard, <laughs> I've heard from five of them so far. I mean, it's the same five that I hear from whenever he's been mentioning us for a year I, trying to get I our attention. I definitely <laughs> recognize this name. I've seen him before. Who? Yeah, exactly. Who? And that one makes Just me sad. It. I'll be honest. I even texted you about it. I really like Red Bar. Yeah, uh, that's I mean, not a beef I want. I was like, I don't care. Oh, Red Bar's I was, watching. Yeah. I was a fan for a long time, but a year ago when we'd never said anything about him other than we were a fan. Sure. For him to go, I'm banning you from watching that show. First of all, that's a cunt bitch little move. But then, wow. like his, the, it, then we're like, well, we gotta fuck with him back. Yeah. And then, like every time we'd fuck with him, he'd get like sensitive about it. Like he'd get. Oh my! Like, yeah. Mike's not I think gonna there like was that. A time period somewhere it's here, and I think it happened everybody. really recently, yeah. where there is no more back and forth like radio shit. Yeah. There is no more. Like I don't think anyone can do that. I don't think it's allowed. No. Nope. People are so offended. We want yeah. you to quit. It is all like super sensitive comedians. No, not sensitive quote I'll, unquote. Com ew. And imagine us it's being not comedians fun anymore. <laughs> I think it's like, also no, I, it Pat, bums me out. I'll gross. be honest. I, I think it scared the shit out of him a little bit when Tripoli tried to kill him. <laughs> like, that would scare the shit out of yeah. anyone. Yeah. Tried to kill I, Red Bar. That's, too. Red I think that probably in his scared boots. him a bit because yeah, he really, him. he really laid off uh, Tripoli after that. Um, That's for sure. No, I mean that would scare anybody. So I don't fault him for that. I mean, even if this is insane. even if you instigated something, nobody deserves that type of threat, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, you know what though? He went after Sam's children, and you know what? Hold that thought out. If you Hold go after thought. someone's children like that, this real quick. funny song. Don't get me wrong. Very funny. But song. Uh, if if Sam Tripoli cuts off your head and holds it up outside, I think that's wrong. Yes, it is. But I also go well, look. I mean, it's always like a case of yes, you made your bed. Do I think you belong there necessarily? Maybe not, but I see how you got there. Yeah. Wow. Uh, AIDS tried to kill Red Bar. Oh, that's not. I don't know. So yeah, I look. I pulled up after dropping the kids off tonight, and I got a bunch of notifications what from my Instagram, hat? like the usual names, like "Oh, Red Bar's watching you live yeah. right now. You're through." And I'm as, like, "Okay." I. What does okay. that say? You know, <laughs> as he should be. I think, that's, be I think that's interesting that he's watching us live because of um, being somebody who's watched his show yeah. for years now. I He does not tune into people's live shows very often. Red Bar should be watching, and I'll tell you why. Oh, because shit. This is, is a message you know, to Mike got, David well, Red Bar. Sick. It's not his fault, but the show really became about him sucking his own dick a lot, and now maybe we can help and him. And she's uh, drinking now, himself. too. Maybe he'll find some Again. inspiration. He'll never say it, but maybe he will. I really do hope the best for that guy. He has brought yeah. me so many laughs over the years, honestly, him and his wife. Have. Wow. Yeah. Trying to take I the so. uh, I, I sensitive, know. emotional I approach. That nobody can have a good, you know, bout. And Citizen M, uh, I will tell you this, buddy. Uh, I apologize for that numerous times and also on his show recently. So I have no problem saying I'm sorry for uh, saying anything about John uh, stuttering John's daughter. Although it was, if you put it in context, reference to him bringing him up. So. Yeah, but you still brought that. up his kids. I don't even remember um, what went down with that. Uh, I guess I we don't need to rehash it. Bill Fenner, April is prettier than Jules, and Aaron is well healthier than Mike. I guess. Thank you. What do you know? Uh, yeah, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Maybe I've got AIDS too. Hey, let's and I go just to started the, off. Fast. This Maybe is insane. Got, though. What is that disease? This is really wild. Time, like Crohn's. So we Maybe now know Mike Crohn's. David is uh, Red Bar is now <laughs> tuning <laughs> into no the steel. This my, has now caught the uh, the I scent mean, of one really Mike for the hat David. My hair is not okay under. Hate watching Steel Toe in live time. No, I've been telling people all day. This I'm isn't going to end well, guys. I mean, I don't know what, I, I mean, if, it, look, Red Bar might not be what he was 10 years fun. ago, but, April has been fucking I, I mean, it's still Red Bar, and uh, people, just, like, fucking really, 
take what he says as gospel. So if if he sa if he gives them the old proverbial Thanos snap to Steel Toe, Steel Toe's done. And you, you know you got nobody like uh, nobody likes onions fucking doing great work. Now we're fucking hate watching them. Chad Zumok's gonna be hate watching them every show is hate watching you people are now just going live and and doing sh marathon shows about your lives imagine that they're trying to slow the roll i would like, i wouldn't go live i would like you know what i mean i would fucking st start doing i would start a cooking chat <laughs> you know what i mean i would not be able to fucking know that 17 people are watching me hating me they all have fucking 100 plus viewers in their chat donating in live time talking shit about me I know there's some Rover fans. I'd either, I I'd either, if I didn't run away, I would fucking, I would go as hard as I ever could. This whole approach that, oh, I'm sorry, Mike David's the greatest. You know, win by two if you want an apology. Here's an apology. We're able to uh, let bygones be bygones. Pat Melton, like, I'm even letting you, uh, you know, be, take the bigger route, the high route, and apologize to us. Like, what a bitch. Buster Hyman. Buster Hyman says, huge head. You're going to have to be more specific, buddy. Some Which one? Some large craniums over on this I show. don't know. I think they're both pretty hot. Yeah, we got to get better with I the comebacks. Their hairs. Uh, eventually, they're not going to stick any son. longer. You oh, but she's drinking. That, though, I got to have a drink I mean, with her. We're going to go drink for drink with Steel Toe Morning there, Show tonight. How's that out? sound for everyone? All right. This is an interesting story. And sorry to all of you uh, who are looking in here like to hate the show and shit like that. You're going to be <laughs> utterly bored to death because we kind of talk about the news and... What's no, going no, 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 no. You so talk about everything kind of bored. There's not that you're of, fucking uh, seeing online. Don't lie. But I saw this one in, I believe, Ohio. Uh, Look at yeah, Wadsworth, wrists. Ohio. Uh, somebody got beat up and said, don't fuck with Kumia. Uh, again? No. no, I'm joking. Why are no. we doing this again? And Cheers did we order her. that one, too? Isn't yes. that something that we would order the hit, but then have the guy say it's Kumia country? Well, technically, now's the time because nobody would believe it. You know why Red Bar is so <sighs> upset? Well, I'm guessing it's radio. because we had a LOL. special she's on. She's wearing a hat. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. wearing. Well, no, I, I mean she's that's wearing a just kind of gay too. Because you know, that has nothing work. to do with you. I'll Great be honest. I think he saw the pylon, and now he's a di he's a couple days late to the I don't pylon. Know. I, I like I said. But also I remember, not. he's had a hard on for us for a year. I don't know why. Like him and I have actually like interacted before. I was very polite. I still would be. I like the dude. I think he's running That's out. Really he's he running would out fuck people. Red Bar if she could. He does, he's not having. Imagine how that makes these him feel. So he's trying to go lower to see if he can have an impact. And I gotta say, seeing the numbers where they are tonight, keep having an impact, pal. Uh, white Who's he talking about? Red Bar's really numbers. I don't even know what his numbers are. This drag I'd imagine they're pretty story solid. hour shit that's been going on around the country it always draws protests and I right, so now he's gonna get into what the his motivation topics. is here to try and paint the protests as white yeah, supremacy wait hold on red bar is upset but because you were on thing where compound the media yeah started covering these drag queen that's story point, hour Keel. things where like drag queens go and read to kids yeah. that is a, and they were like, that, that's a solid point aaron and is and his whole goal is to get on the compound media network the compound media conglomerate the dying brand that is anthony kumi and compound media if you know anything about Red Bar, Red Bar despises Anthony Cumia. And now you're trying to suck up to Anthony Cumia. I mean, that that rubs a lot of people the wrong way. Anthony Cumia is gross. He's a biter. He takes 13-year-olds to prom. I mean, that's fucking pretty, pretty fucking sad shit. That's gross. And you're trying to get on his network. It, it, I mean, so that should tell you everything you need to know about Aaron. So now he's going to go into his topics now, guys. Yeah, I prefer my cancer Mike. survivors. Buchenwald and all that shit. Crazy Here, Al, I'm going to mute this. Al, what's your thoughts uh, on everything that's going on? I know I'm kind of just talking and kind of giving my analysis as we go here. But what's your whole, uh, you know, breakdown of this whole thing right now? Like, wh like what do you see happening in live time? Fucking same old shit, bro. All the time with Aaron. Constant lying, constant backpedaling. You know what I mean? Constant fucking just walking everything back. He's just so full of himself. I think the drinking is an indication of like where they're at. Not only is Aaron now drinking, April's drinking as well. And I just see this going fucking downhill. And did I hear that Red Bar is watching their show? 
kind of like we are, like hate watching their show. Not like oh, he's hate watching. Yes. So we're okay. Like I didn't even know he had a beef with them, but I guess everybody hates Steel Toe, and for good reason. They got this plate full because they spent too much time in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they deserve everything they're getting, in my opinion. Uh, well, Red Bar Scars Club is a direct reference to the uh, cystic acne scars on Anthony Cumia's face. Yeah. Uh, so the Scars Club, uh, for, I mean, probably all of you know that. I don't need to refresh you. You guys aren't idiots. But the Scars Club, yes. Uh, named after Anthony Cumia's scars on his face. His craters, as you will. Let's let's tune it back into Aaron. Uh, again, we, we are coming up on the two-hour mark here. We have Red Bar watching uh, Steel Toe. We have uh, we're watching Steel Toe. We have Nobody Likes Onions uh, getting ready to do a stream in just about two hours. So we're not going to take up too much of your time here tonight. We just figured we hop on, address some of the Corey Adam thing, address the apology that was uh, being surfaced around. Aaron said, uh, you know, if we apologize, we he'd let bygones be bygones. We're here to tell you tonight, we're not apologizing to nobody. That is not our M.O. I don't need uh, somebody like Aaron in my corner. I don't need anybody in my corner. I will do this, uh, you know, and hate watch you and keep doing it, man. I, you know what I mean? We, we, there's no friendships to be made here. You're making yourself look like a fucking fool, for lack of a better term, a red bar term. So let's watch Aaron. Uh, what time do we got here? It's about... 8.50 on the East Coast. So we might do like another 40 minutes. I, I want to play some of Aaron, and then we have some videos from this morning stream from Aaron, and then uh, last night we're going to play, and then uh, we're going to get out of your guys' hair, and then you guys can get ready for Nobody Likes Onions tonight at 11 o'clock Eastern Time, 8 o'clock Pacific. Let's uh, take it back in live to Aaron Airhead and April Megamind Eimholt. Guys, take it away. Doing this. CT Freedoms is one of many protesting a plan oh, yeah, look at the fun show. <laughs> story hour at Watts with Memorial. They're doing straight up <laughs> Nazi salutes at a fucking kids' playground. I don't believe yeah, it. This can't be real. That's like with all this. Joke. That's like with all this January sixth footage that's coming out now. And you see, if Aaron was smart, you know what I would do in this situation, Al. You know what, like exactly. If if I had fifty fucking shows watching me, hate watching me in this moment in time, instead of going to my topics and my news stories and what's trending on Twitter today, I would I would put on like a fucking a, a wild video, like a like a fucking like, like a an all black bukkake. You know what I mean? And just like. You get everyone's fucking channel flagged at all at once at simultaneously. Like I, I would fucking, you know, uh, do the old uh, okie doke or oh, fucking whatever it's called. You, you know what I mean? It, that Yeah, okie doke. There it is. I said it right. You know, I, like, I would have fun with it. But instead, he just persistently goes to these fucking topics that nobody cares about. One fish, two just fish, a thought. Fish, blue fish is gonna be That's how I would handle it. Life and death. Yeah, you're, you're We're not here to make thinker, kids bro. gay. I mean, not on purpose, you. sure. You know, because you know. like you're, you're now like, because, by definition, tro maybe the not. You certainly ain't turning the them away at the door. That's all I mean, I'm saying. We don't need to teach kids how to yeah, be guys, more diverse. Side chats limited. Only either. talk to the host like, here. Well, now, now you're on the side of the Nazis. No, I'm saying I'm like kidding. they don't look at things that way. I've never right. heard the kids in this neighborhood, like our kids playing with another kid, like talk about skin color and shit like that. It's not necessary. Yeah, and they're not all white. No. Exactly. It, it doesn't matter to kids. Side, side chatter, me she side came conversations. All the way from Colorado to not knock that only shit stand off. Solidarity, I'm watching you guys. But also to protect. It's all about focusing on the kids. We are here because yeah. of the protesters. Comedy Hack says, April, you don't have kids. For the protesters. <laughs> I dare you say it's my face. Steal from the oh video boy. on your screen. You can see. Look at that. We got people with Bible quotes. We got Jesus people. And we got people throwing up Nazi salutes. You talk about diversity. What a diverse protest. We've got Jesus and Hitler. So was this planned Sick. or something? Because both groups Funny of people joke. knew the other one was going to be there. Yeah. Did you that hear that? Like, yeah. that? The trans supporters said, like, oh, we came here because of those protesters. And right. they traveled. <laughs> this was scheduled I see you over there. for a long time. See, like, the, the yeah. community events people. I wouldn't bring my kids here. My the community day. events people schedule this shit. 
And Mr. then Goy has a good when idea, they schedule it, Mr. it shows up, idea. and then people with no lives who protest this shit on both sides, they're like, oh, we got to, you know, Mr. Goy gird up our loins for the field of battle, and we got to meet the enemies of God and shit like that. And both sides of this are ruining it for the kids. Right. Like, we're completely oh, oh, ruining the story fuck is time Amelia? for kids now. But then on the other hand, for the library, could you just not fucking book the drag queens? Like I said, do you know how many, Connie like, part-time says, I'm Walmart readers like there Andrew are Schultz. who are dying oh, to dude, read? That guy no, I think it's the library's fault, too, for scheduling these people. Confrontation did arise between it's fun. protesters It's a fun and show. Now you guys are catching on. Being it's trampled. fun. We're having fun. There's kids in there. Which yeah. Summer Constanzo and They're using those kids as human shields. That's fucking gross. I swear they're using kids as props just to get their shit done. Yeah, get those kids Sounds out of there. Goofy. You shouldn't be bringing them to this protest. People are going to be yelling all kinds of foul Like, I stuff. want to zoom well, in on April's head, shit. but I we like Pat does that on yeah, Nobody like, Likes LGBT Onions, so I'd feel fucking like I'm ripping them off. Big time. It's like the but way she's wearing they're willing a hat to use tonight, kids guys. as pawns and, and the way they're beer. willing to use kids as human shields for mm -hmm. their for their bullshit. And word I, I don't thank like you. It's really, it's really Our hate is fun. I enjoy it. Well, that's what we're doing here, man. We're having a fun fucking hate show watch. There are Nazis. Whoa. In Memorial Park at Wadsworth. Fuck and I feel that that is, is this one. absolutely Summer, ridiculous. We will never you see that chick's name? Summer Constanzo? As a right-leaning or even a centrist or libertarian if we don't start pushing back against the people that come to spoil. In Wadsworth. Notice how the news is like trying to pit this as everybody's on one side or the other. Yeah, we're we're going like, to zoom in on April's head. Not like head. that guy Pat, where if you ask I'm not about trying to rip Nazis, you off, like, but, oh, yeah, yeah, but that's totally it, just, it has to too. be done. Like, they're trying to pit it as one thing against another. Right, the it's, Nazis actually harmed their side by coming, I think, because yeah. now they're just going to see that. Uh, Vector Media says, I just checked. Aaron Imholt, a registered Democrat? What the fuck? That's, Whoa. that's Whoa. fucking news to me. I don't think in Minnesota you register as a party, do you? How can I marry a Democrat? What do you mean everyone registers <laughs> yeah, as a party? I, I, I couldn't think to even check, I guess. Like, yeah, what Aaron is a Democrat. I yeah, now. I don't think that I... Spread I it. in Minnesota you register as a party. <laughs> I certainly Spread wouldn't it. register as one or the other, though. No, I, no. It's weird. Aaron's the type uh, of person to show up to the polls. Because I feel like if I had to choose one, I obviously know which one I'd choose. I just don't like that I have and to choose And as one. an independent. There's no way we register probably votes. One or the Aaron other. probably votes for Dave so, Smith. Either. I love that that guy was totally Libertas fucking with me. And for like, the Libertarian oh, I checked, you're a registered Democrat. And he even though I it. know he's fucking with me, I'm like, wait a minute, what? I gotta, hold on, shit, do we actually do that? And, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Just choose the weed party. Yeah, Whoever's legalizing weed, that's right. my party. Uh, Courtney Harlow says, I am a recovered Democrat That would be from the Democrats, right? Oh God. Or wow. Libertarians. Hope, uh, I mean, I hope you're not. not so still you either there. support Hillary Clinton no, or I'm guessing Dave she's Smith. Not, she said from New York. Okay. What is she I'm drinking, guys? Okay, I'm trying though. to figure good, this good, the fuck good. out. But what is uh, this we beer? We go from that. We go from uh, so apparently white supremacists are getting around. Uh, they're heading out to April's beer watch. <laughs> uh, what do you call it? Uh, drag queen story hours. Okay. In Ohio. They're making the rounds. If their cameras weren't so shitty, I'd be able to see it. But look at the pixelation on this shit. Sheriff is uh, chastising a group of white supremacists. You guys should go into a chat morons, and be like, what's on the menu for passing for out flyers tonight? of him in a bra. What, what are you sipping on? Uh, <laughs> Was that you? Nice hat. I'm just kidding. You don't <laughs> you know? Know. No, of course. No, I, I'm not saying no, remember, that I'm I encouraging it, but it a would be girdle, funny if that right. were to like happen. Medieval. I wear a girdle I, to keep these bad boys nice and strapped in. Wow. I gotta have my girdle. I didn't wear my girdle today. That's why there's so much movement. You go for your, you know, it helps your figure out a little bit. I do love that the people who make that stuff up, like, they get really mad about it when you joke about... I'm like, you started the joke. I'm just playing along. That's what I'm doing, like, with the whole, like, oh, my good, your forehead. Like, yeah, my head's pretty normal. Wow. I don't know if you've looked at anyone else who broadcast, but... Like, they try to make head. a thing. They Take want your it to hat make off. you cry, and then when you embrace the joke, they go... Take hey, your hat off. But you, I hate you. I know. That's why I'm making fun of your thing. How, I'm leaning in with you. God, yeah. I hate me, too. How do you... Yeah, how do you <laughs> Gross. not... Get oh, this. Jesus Christ. I am just the worst. Yes, I don't you are. It. Well, maybe I'm not so much you. Sleep. Definitely him. Uh, Florida sheriff blasts white supremacist Hashtag morons free for passing April. out flyers of him in a bra. I will say this. It is, the most, uh, it is the most sense of humor I've seen out of white supremacists. Okay. <laughs> I mean, at least they're doing some goofy, wacky, uh, nutty professor style yeah. comedy. Now we're talking about white fun. supremacists. Just, you know, you cool. put yourself out there in the bra. Okay. Well, I, th I think they may have. Oh, yeah. I, I, I see... 
I was thinking like they photoshopped. Yo, uh, yo, yo Al, I'm just giving you a quick you heads up, real quick. When you unmute photo. and mute, yeah. the the oh, mic comes in a little soft at first. So give it a second and then story. say what you're gonna say. say. You know this, what I mean? The Nazis in this story seem a lot more fun loving than like, the Nazis. Even the still, it's coming in soft. So I would wait like uh, four seconds. Story, if I may, they seem just a, just a note. A little high strung. Maybe not even back real. to Aaron. Like somebody yeah, put in there. I think maybe FBI agents, but I don't know. Uh, let's check it out. Media building is a crime now. But if your motivation is hate, it will be a third degree felony. He's you drinking. We got a drink. We are drinking to Aaron's drink. We are going drink for drink with Aaron. The only difference is he's drinking beer and I am drinking Gentleman Jack. Who's throwing? So if you're drinking here tonight, if you're playing the Aaron M. Holt drinking game and going, that's for the end. Going drink for drink. Pour one up. Who's throwing a soda can on the ground and going, God damn Jews. I mean, hey, cheers. that would have been a $200 fine, but you'd yell goddamn Jews while you did it. You're going to jail, pal. Jail cheers, Al. I don't think this is your cheers, story, buddy. though. You don't think this is the no, right one? No, anti-Semitic messages spread across Central Florida. Oh, shit. That sounds, like, is, that sounds like the bag story that we said earlier. I hate it when they do With that. The oh, no, this is Sheriff's <laughs> message to accused anti-Semitic agitators. Four this Roses is the about. I actually have a, I have a bottle of uh, okay. Four Roses. Building is a crime now. Yes. But if your motivation is hate, it will be a third degree felony. You will spend five years in prison. They will bring, litter, be bring it's a crime broadcasting right from a silo you near you. And if your motivation yes. is a hate crime, it will be a third degree felony. Fuck illegals as you flick a cigarette butt oh, out the just, window. Oh, Good. Fuck. We need to keep she just took a drink. Happy. Yeah. I, I'm fucked up I mean, up we gotta right right keep now. releasing the people who commit like, one, assaults though. and robberies and things like that. But we gotta make sure we lock up the drinking games. I'm going shot for shot. That's been them. a group of people who yes, have been I, getting off light for a long time I, now. I've thought about it, and I do believe they're the ones causing the problem. Copathon 2023. As do I. You will spend five Cheers, years guys. Day. State Representative Randy Fine says state lawmakers are working to do something about anti-Semitism in Florida. A proposed bill aims to make the acts punishable under law. take another drink, bro. Law. That's fucked. There is no First Amendment right yeah. to litter. <laughs> I mean, Wait. fair enough. I don't even have a, uh, a chaser. No, no, chaser. I've never... You know, I've never played a uh, fife and drum and like thrown garbage out oh, the window. God. That's for sure. I do like this. It was sto- that we're doing this story. This is a follow up to our story this morning with yeah. the guys in the U-Haul. The five guys in the U-Haul. Do you think yeah, they're like the guys in a U-Haul throwing out anti-Semitic? Do you guys honestly anti-Semitic think they get off stream and like bone? Like, 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 do you guys think they like fucking? Like, papers shoved in zip They're having with, sex after like, their podcasts. That's funny. They're live streams. There's a lot of Jews. There's a lot. You don't think so? No. How could you? I mean. You talk to each other for seven and a half hours a day, and then, like, after that, bro, it's like, I would need a break. Like, give me some space. I mean, unless your church happens to be in the middle of a George... And maybe that's why they're drinking. Maybe they're trying to spice up their sex life. I don't know. What would we call that church? Uh, church of Oxygen. I don't fucking know. Don't put me on the spot to make the a church shitty George, George Floyd joke. Um, St. George, yeah. There it was. St. George. Was right All in front hell, St. George. Face. Um, I, I love that this guy's like going, hey, you don't have a right to, yeah, we know all that shit. But if you yell the N-word while you do all of these things, we're going to get you hard. Sloppy smash fucking had it, though. <laughs> He is pissed Pretty much. about all the hate graffiti. If that, In though. Florida, if you. All the K-words that are on all these foreclosed banks now that the people are spraying. Aaron is a two-can sand, three-beer queer. All the Silicon Valley bank cuckers. branches with the K-word on them. I don't even think oh, three no. beers. It's terrible. You guys Yarmulkes. let us down. What are you doing? Yamakas, Stars of Davids all over the closed-down Silicon David. Valley banks. Oh, How no. fucking dare they? That's, That's insult to injury, really. You're going to prison. I'll show you who runs this mother. Devin in their chat. Wait, what's it say? Devin in their chat is the name of her ex. Oh shit! Really? There's a Devin in the chat. Let's check their chat. Acts in the county. Just last week, hate groups projected an anti-Semitic message on the grandstand. What's Stevie J saying? Oh, I just figured. Oh, I remember we covered that one. Okay, so he's at the end of the show. Stevie J is like invested in what they're talking about. Oh fuck! About the anti-Semitism. It was spicy. Wasn't it Jews? Go home, or I something. Like I that. thought there was a K word somewhere, but maybe okay. it wasn't the Daytona. Or could have been K's go home. I don't know. I mean, not a very nice word to use, but if the race was over, it is kind of an informative instruction. I don't that see a, a Devin. Rich even for I me. mean, I believe really? you, yeah, but I, I just don't, like don't see one. it here. Oh man, wait until the mics are off. Oh, here it is, Devin. I'll so, get her back. Just for fun. Oh, wait, wait a brag. Just That's her ex-boyfriend's they name. Also passed out flyers in Volusia County if we could find out his last name, that would be hilarious. 
And the sheriff's <laughs> office shared this disturbing video of the group. Hey, they is responsible, <laughs> GDL. You can see them yelling with megaphones. I'm sorry, I, I don't feel any heat from those guys. A, they either look like feds or they're just the Let's gayest go back dudes to you've ever seen and they haven't been able to admit it yet. They kind of look like proud boys. Yeah, there's a little proud a boy little to bit. them, too. Into people's cars in Central Florida. It's disturbing. All right, guys, uh, let me just give you uh, everyone a quick update here, really fast. So we are tuned into the uh, Steel Toe Evening Show, uh, Monday night's evening show. Aaron and April Imhole are being hate watched currently by myself, uh, by Red Bar at the moment. Sorry, the whiskey's coming back on me now. I'm going shot for shot with uh, Aaron. They're both drinking beer. She just took another shot of her beer. I have to fucking drink another one. If he does it, I'm going to be fucking pissed. I've already had like 10 shots on two hours worth of show, so I'm feeling pretty nice here tonight. Uh, but we are going shot for shot with them, and we're, we're probably going to watch maybe like another 15, 20 minutes or so of them, and then we're going to show you some clips from today, and then we're going to get out of you guys' hair, and then you guys are going to get ready for Nobody Likes Onions uh, 11 o'clock Eastern time tonight, uh, 8 o'clock Pacific time. So uh, make sure to tune in to uh, Nobody Likes Onions because he does have some information pertaining to the Chad Zumok Black Eye Gate. So we are hate watching Aaron at the moment. Uh, she just took a sip. I have to take another sip, which I'm not looking forward to. But we're going to do it. We're going shot for shot with uh, the Imholtz tonight, and uh, the only difference, like I said, is I'm drinking Gentleman Jack, and they're drinking what appears to be either Samuel Adams or O'Doul's. I don't know. See, W Man says, what does Red Bar stream on? Uh, to his own website, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. I'm not subscribed to the, uh, to the Scars Club. Let's kick it back over to the eye molds. You know what? Let me find the bottom of about three, four <clears throat> more of these. We'll see. He's got handcuffs hanging from the green one. I thought he was going to take a sip. I got he's really ready to fucking oh, nervous yeah, there. Re- Sheriff Chitwood's ready to fuck. <laughs> he looks fucked. He's got a gun in his hand. Oh, my God. And he's got a gun. <laughs> he's fucked up. Bras, gun, handcuffs. <laughs> I stand with my Total Jewish BS. friends. Four beers. The Jews are like They've had four beers. Bit. I bet he's fun at parties. Four so beers. Now, four beers. And this is the what, what you, he wrote what uh, a couple days ago. He's only had about These a master one race beer. white supremacists. I've had about eight keep dropping shots flyers of the cross-dressing sheriff. Like it's going to hurt my feelings or turn people against me. Hey losers, here are a few more photos you can use. Okay, oh, all right. well, all right. you know what? Not he, bad. Is Marquise in this chat? I know you're new to following me, but I have been proudly supporting Marquise and participating in the Daytona Beach Realtors bro. Bratini fundraiser. <laughs> As one of their celebrity models for years, I don't see we've Marquise. raised tens of thousands of dollars for our friends he battling breast was cancer. He? So that's was he starting he shit? Earlier. Again, that's somebody. You do that? Yeah, bit. that's a guy owning it. Yeah, he's a steel like, bro. There's nothing you can do. Once the guy decides to own it, there's nothing you can do. It's harmless. We're gonna Although, we're gonna take it live uh, to Aaron M. Holt's still tits very disturbing. Tonight. Yeah, let's, let's I mean, zoom look, in on the. I'm old not saying it's not totally uh, disturbing, but uh, at the same time. I mean, once once he says like, you know, I hey, here's me, here's my tits out again, tits. Uh, here's <laughs> me and more bras. What do you think? Oh, here, like, here oh, look at that. Here. Nothing. Are they watching do. this show? Uh, PCBPO says, is the sheriff going to show up with a self inflicted black eye? Yeah, actually, the sheriff came back the next day and he said, uh, that's for Kumia. He might stand with his Jewish friends. I don't think he stands with liars though. No, no, <laughs> not at all. How do you tell the difference sometimes? It, hey. I'm I'm kidding. It's a total joke. They're our friends. Uh, 130 bucks away from tonight's goal. Let's see if we can uh, knock that out before the end of the show here and do an extra knock half hour for you. Knock it out, guys. Go donate to the Thank you guys very I'm much Holtz. for making this a great They're begging. Steel Toe Day. It has been awesome. Yes, thank you. So far for the morning and evening show, from what I'm hearing, we've been uh, we've had a, a hell of a hell of numbers, hell yeah. of hell of good numbers. I guess we've made the rounds too, huh? Yeah, it's awesome. We're on We're everybody's gonna... uh, list, beating them all back, <laughs> beating the them all reasons, back. So Imagine there. that, making new but fans. I guess as long as we're in there, <clears throat> making new fans. Great guys. Uh, this is disappointing to me. Making new fans. I didn't Check want this to have to out. report on this today. Now, They're at I, nine I, I didn't point... watch the Oscars. I didn't see if uh, Banshees of Inisherin won a bunch of awards. They're at 9.19K no subs. Uh, Imagine saying making new fans. Uh, 
everything, everything. You haven't moved subs since fucking no Saturday. Oh, it's an Asian. Even I, Almost even the win by two channel here has gained well, they were gonna win no 40 what, subs then. since Saturday. What? Why would you say that? Isn't that kind of what the Oscars subs, right? do? They are losing subs. Just Yesterday they were at 9.18. Well, they pick, a, they pick a movie that nobody's fucking seen because they don't like movies that everybody likes because we're all plebs and we don't know good cinema. Look at everyone donating. Like a lot of people saw Amir that And the more diversity, the better. for the dawn. Well, diversity for sure. Pittance? I'll side with you on that. I'm pissed if I'm the Black Panther. Pittance. Everyone's donating. Uh, five oh, no, bucks uh, five from bucks. Kyle W. says a Maybe mere not. pittance for the pittance. dawn. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. I said right the first time. That. That's very nice of you. Go back to Aaron. Oh, boy. I Patrick <clears throat> says, I'm going to go smoke a J. The show will be way better then. Ah, there's no guarantees. The only thing I did see, he like, he show just sucks. said Wakanda would be upset. Like, the uh, person who won the Oscar for, like, best costume design was a black woman in charge of Wakanda. So. Oh, okay. So she did get a little yeah, something. she should. Uh, Darren Orson says, I think my super chat got buried. Well, we have a very busy chat. Maybe I did miss it. We're sorry. I'm sorry if I did, sir. Notice uh, how, though, guys. Anton Slavic says, Aaron, you're wrong. It was actually an excellent movie. Okay. I Notice how they're not banning anyone anymore. I think we put enough pressure on uh, these two to uh, give up uh, with the ban. I mean, it was getting out of hand. Last week, I mean, you guys know. You've seen it in live time. They were banning people. I mean, his trigger finger was fucking going nuts last week. If you, Like I said on Saturday, if you were mentioning the word onion or anything that rhymed with onion... Funyuns, Runyuns, Lovelin, <laughs> like, like any word that rhymed with the word onion or Zumok, you were getting fucking out of their chat. Like he was just banning you. I gotta go watch the Asian movie. So he's changing his tune since then. So, so you, you could tell we're getting April wearing a hat. We're getting them drinking on a uh, stream now. And now they're not banning people. So uh, for all the times Aaron wants to say this isn't bothering him and he's winning... Those are three reasons right there while he is, uh, you know, why he's still fucking not winning. Yeah, those are some br pretty drastic changes for someone who's not worried about it, right? Exactly. And now he's offering, he's, uh, you know, offering his hand out to us, to Red Bar, to Kevin Brennan. And he's trying to make allies uh, with people who fucking hate his guts. And, uh, you know, it just goes to show you, man. I mean, look, it, he could gaslight you all he wants. We're not fooled by it. This guy is in a tailspin, and we're here for it, man. I've made some popcorn, and I'm just sitting back and letting the car crash happen in real time. Uh, it's, it's just going to be a matter of time before Porcelain comes out with a documentary about the Steel Toe saga. Or at least I hope so, because that would be a fucking entertaining watch. Get on it, Porcelain. The Steel Toe Morning Blow. All right, let's, let's take it live back into Aaron. Let's do, let's see, where are we at with time? 9, 12 here on the East. Let's do like another eight minutes or so of Aaron, and then we're going to play some clips from today, and then we're going to get out of here, guys. How's that sound? You guys have been amazing tonight, by the way. Shout out to everyone who's in this chat and not in their chat. You guys are the real. Let's get it. You guys are the real fucking winners. Oh, that's we, all. We stopped that talk now. Back They're to Aaron. Need some help. They picked, I disavow. <laughs> they picked on a funny show, so I got to give them something to banter. They just with brought us they up. Picked the wrong place. And you know, like I, I always wonder. I asked somebody something like this today too, because I genuinely want to know, like. Yeah. You know, when you say, oh, April, you're unattractive and stuff, I'm like, okay. Oh, like, just I'm not sure what that's getting them. Yeah. Like, does that, do I they think drink. that's going to make me like them you're more? You're going to be hungover just, tomorrow. What does that mean? Because, like, I'm not looking for you. I'm not going to fuck you. I fuck this guy. I already picked this guy. That's, that's probably why you know, this guy. <laughs> it, it's such a weird thing to me. Like, they say, oh, April, you're unattractive. Well, that's good then. I don't have to impress anybody. They else. probably think because you fuck me, wow. they're like, oh, shit, I got a shot. Or, like, and there, then like and then like incels in general, when you tell them they don't have a shot, they just get really pissy. About there's it. a there was a specific guy today too. He's just like, Oh, April, this isn't about you. None of this is about you. It's about your pussy husband you sit next to. You really fucked up with Aaron. And then he and then another Yo, look one how he said she's getting. You know, this can all be fixed with a divorce. So I I, <laughs> I I honestly I asked him and he wouldn't answer me. I said Okay, let's say I do get a divorce. What good does that do? I think you? Al just got disconnected. What did that do for you? Like, do you think I'm going to you for you to save me yeah. and for like fucking you? Because that's not in the car. That might that might actually. I don't know what it is. That might actually upset a guy like that more because then when he doesn't get you, he's just going to be more miserable I would like that to it know. wasn't just me. I'd love to know because I'd like to know why you're so invested in another divorce. May I? 
Go ahead. Uh, depression and daddy issues, oh. mostly, yes. And not really doing anything after this show. Because in my opinion, over. like, people are going on the, oh, April, what's your five-year plan? Like, <laughs> what are you doing when you guys get divorced? And I'm like, well, I guess what's we're going to have to stick around and, yeah. you know, plan? Oh. for the next five years and see if it's still around or <laughs> not. That's yeah. a good idea. have to watch, I guess. That's a good idea. Wow. Keep watching Steel Show. She right. Copes. And then you'll find out. It's episodic. We should just end every single show with, like, no. tune in tomorrow to see if there's a divorce yet. Uh, thank you no, to Marquis. He says, gay. according to a WB2 chatter, I buy your bras. So, yeah. Well, thank you. It's <laughs> black. You probably can get them dirt cheap. Bless. We're getting to them. Uh, Let's Pro go. Guns <laughs> with two bucks says, your beard game is weak. <laughs> yeah. What they, can I say? It's, uh, Marquis says, it's awful, I bra actually. buy it, your bras. I still think I'm going to keep it, though. From a I win by two chat. I'm, <laughs> I'm flip-flopping. Uh, Scottalicious <laughs> McFabulous says, I would actually think shot. that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Which part? Oh, if people kept watching for five years, that would be Honestly, kind of fun. Honestly, I, I sincerely wanted to know the guy's answer. I would have respected an answer. Uh, he Got did him. not answer. <laughs> I couldn't have one. I don't know. Yo-Yo says, ew, you two fucking is disgusting. I wish you'd quit. Well, I, I wish I, you'd quit thinking about it then. I think you thinking about it is harming you more than it's harming us. I mean, we don't think about you when we fuck. It's a little weird, bud. Yeah. Oh, I mean, my God. I mean, if you send us a picture, we'd think about it, but... I wouldn't. Yeah. yeah uh, well, that makes one of them. Keel fucking, when NLO oh, mentioned man. the five-year plan, I lost it. Guys. That's why it's so fucking mad. hilarious. I just, why I do you guys it's know getting the to them. Guys, I'm curious. Why so mad? Is it because the entire chat is you enjoying just themselves? You see from their actions no. that it, it's getting Well, them. anyway, moving on to the movie Look. stuff. This. Oh, uh, and it's freezing. What the fuck's happening? This is not us. This is them. Did he end his life? It really bummed me out. More than the Oscars ever Are could. Are they skipping right now More than any. Oh my God! What the We're fuck? always asking for like new movies and where's another. So he's good just gonna idea? act like where's this is all fine and good and just from? move and then, on. And then we wonder why we never get them. And this weekend we get our answer. Scream he, Six was number one at the box. He office. does this thing where like he, he dips there his toe in to talking I shit. Three, four, and five. I didn't either. I and the drama either. and the beef. Right. So you have Scream Six makes forty four point five. And then just talks about a random Sunday. fucking topic like Scream Six at the box office. Scream Two did. Uh, it, it's number one at the box office, and it's like who cares? There's your answer. So the next time who you cares? start to go, hey, why aren't nobody you cares? Good movies for us with like new ideas and new concepts, uh, because we don't watch them. I think the last one. They yeah, did he's got nothing for Bear. content, bro. Come on. But, but then he'll be the that first that to tell you that. Oh man, they're just watching us because they got not nothing for content. It's all projection, dude. It's all fucking smoke and mirrors. Although. You know, you're not Absolutely. Zombie. Zombie. Right. We only started talking like about really him because he fucking well starts ta story. started a talking no shit anyway. Hey, there will be guys, I'm going to leave it up to you guys here in the chat masters. here tonight. You guys but have been fucking awesome. Fans. So I'll leave it up you know, to you. Uh, like we'll do another... What time is it here? It's 9.17. So we'll do another... 13 minutes till 9.30 of Aaron, or uh, we're going to just hang it up now and watch some clips from today about Aaron mentioning mentioning us. I think a lot of And, uh, you know, obviously he wanted, uh, if he says, you know, well, he said earlier today that if we apologized, he would let bygones be bygones. So we could watch those clips and just get out of your guys' hair. You guys get... Uh, Tune in to the Steel Toe Morning Show. Fuck with them in their chat. Uh, and then get ready for Nobody Likes Onion set to take we'll off here in watch. less than we'll two hours. Mouth, or we we'll could play watch. this for like another I mean, 13 while, minutes or so. And then we'll play the clips and then get out of here. So I'm going to put it, uh, I'm going to make a poll. No, do and then you guys are going to decide no, are what you old. want to do here for I the really rest of our time. movies and they use the same cast that's like 40 years older. It's just depressing, man. And now they're doing. White men can't jump, and there's a bunch of other ones that they're redoing. It's like, look, if you're not gonna stop, could you at least? Do you want to keep slow? watching Steel Toe could Evening you Show? You're throwing them at us. Let's so ask the community. Quick. It's like, did that Splash remake ever happen? They were going to do. Brandon Splash, says, "Do it live." Uh, by the way, I'm Omo right says, now, "I'm watching this." Five to six years. Yeah, it's like I took too, way too many shots really fucking fast. He's he drinking, you gotta remember, he's story. drinking beer. We I'm drinking fucking whiskey. In the next five or six and I'm like starting to sweat. They, and like, they redid Footloose once or twice. I'm sure Dirty Dancing is next. Everyone's saying, let it go. Yes. 56% say yes. All the classics, man. 60 says sure yes. Caddyshack and shit like All right, I gotta get some water in me out. How are you feeling, Al? And this I'm is, Gucci, baby. This is freezing right now. This isn't us, by the way. This is this has to be them. This is their shitty quality. All 
All right, let's take it down uh, um, real quick. I can't have a fucking ring of death here on stream. Al, you still with me, though? Oh, I am, baby. All right, let's I'm go back. with you, my cheap right, let's go back race. Down. Everyone, rather se than just everyone seems to say yes, making a good movie. It seems like Marvel's trying to do that too. Yeah, I think Marvel's kind of playing with house money yes. in a weird way. Like, like Clips Marvel for me, had Endgame, word says. or they had Infinity War and Endgame, and like that whole arc, those twenty-three movies, and those made such a shit fuck of money that they'll never spend it. So they're Dance like, monkey. all right, uh, Captain America's black puke sweats. Yeah, dude, uh, why is this fucking freezing on me tonight? Here, look, look this is what we're gonna do. We're going to pull an audible really quick because for some reason this is... We're going to do some gay shit. Uh, we got to do She-Hulk even though nobody was We're going to take that off screen. We got Alex's uh, beautiful face on the TV right now. How you doing, Al? Everyone seems I'm to... I'm Gucci gang. Everyone Gucci, seems Gucci, to Gucci be uh, calling you uh, the new forehead monster. And you have since changed your hat from back to front now. So Yeah, uh, I got embarrassed. For <laughs> I'm sensitive and the chat hurt my feelings. And now I changed my hat and I'm looking at my phone because I don't have Skype volume on on this uh, Skype. So I'm listening to the podcast audio through my phone. Marquise is offended. And word says, all right, their their fucking stream is giving me problems for some reason. Somebody uh, pointed out in the chat uh, puke sweats. Uh, Admiral Dewey says puke sweats. Yes, that's literally how I'm feeling right now. Puke sweats. This is what we're going to do. I know I said I'd buy, uh, abide by the chat, and yes says uh, the yes vote took the cake. But I, I got to be honest with you guys. I probably can't do another 10 minutes of them. I mean, it's only nine minutes, to be fair, but they're only going to be talking about bullshit stories, and I'm really not even interested in that. They mentioned us a few times, so that was good. We're going to play some clips from this morning. We're going to play one clip from this morning from Aaron, and then a clip from last night from Aaron. And then uh, we're going to get out of here, guys, and then you guys are going to get ready for Nobody Likes Onions tonight and his big reveal with the whole Chad Zumok Black Eye Gate. So, uh, all right, let's play some clips out. Jesus Christ, dude. I drank way too much, Gentleman Jack. Holy shit. Guys, pick up a book today. Love Until Forever. My copy just came in. You guys can get your copy, too, in the mail. It's a hardcover copy. We're going to be reading this out live on air on Saturday. Is it a picture book? It's a pic, uh, dude. I so I said this. I don't know if you've seen it before uh, at the top of the show, but yes, it is a picture book, and that is you know, oh shit, that's perfect for me, man. Because some of these books that you read, they, I can't read. I can't read, bro. I'm a fucking, <laughs> uh, I'm illiterate, dude. I'm an idiot. I'm illiterate. You know, I got a podcast, but I can't fucking. I, read. I have a podcast, but I can't read or I can't write. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Nah, so we're gonna be reading that on Saturday. We're gonna dedicate a segment to Ashley Larue. So support her because we all know April and Aaron do not support Ashley and the kids. Um. So yeah, given the light that you know Red Bar is covering them right now as well, you know Pat is you know covers them. I I don't I don't want to make that the whole show. And, uh, you know, I, I think we did a good job of kind of just tuning in, seeing what they were saying, laughing at them, making fun of them. Our chat had a good time. Let's play some clips from today. And, uh, you know, we're going to see what Aaron was saying about us. Uh, he wanted us to apologize and then, you know, uh, therefore he would form an alliance with us on tonight's stream. Again, Mondays isn't typically our streaming days, but given everything that was happening... I figured I'd hop on and address the steel toe. Am I a foe or am I a friend? And the answer is pretty clear after tonight. So this was last night, and this is the first uh, mention of the win by two. Well, not the first mention, but the first direct call out of win by two. Hey, guys, if you apologize, we will, you know, let bygones be bygones. And you guys can fucking, you know, be back in steel toes. Good graces. Now, I screen recorded this off my phone, so it's a little janky, so I apologize for the, the shitty quality-looking video. The next video is a little better. But nonetheless, it still drives the point home that this is them priming us, trying to gaslight us into apologizing so we would fucking not do this. Essentially, we wouldn't sit here for fucking two, three hours a night and hate watch them. Uh, so let's go to the Steel Toe Morning Show from Sunday night. It's a members-only stream, so that stream has since been taken down, unless you're a member, which I don't know why you would be if you're in this chat tonight, but hey, some people might. 
uh, you know, be uh, binded to that membership and, you know, can't get out until next month. And, you know, we understand that. But at least you're in this chat tonight. That's all that counts. It's a step in the right direction for a lot of people. So let's go to it. Uh, this was Steel Toe good- last night, and they're going to be, an, uh, you know, again, gaslighting us and saying the whole Corey Adam thing. They owned us. Corey owned us, and he really laid down the law. And if we're willing to apologize, he'd accept that. So let's watch it out. I'm curious to see what you have to say. Gulp. By the way, shout out to, uh, and I know people will find this weird because uh, these guys kind of started shitting on us recently. But uh, kudos to Win by Two Radio for actually having Corey on and letting him oh, this explain was today, to them, like, look, Steel Toe's the cool one. You guys are off base here. Yeah. Uh, that's actually really cool of them. So there's another one I'm willing to, you know, let bygones be bygones. Good on both of them. Good for Corey, like too. To. Yeah, Going good for there. Corey. Uh, Corey's a soldier for this Steel Toe. Corey's having a great day, too, today. I'm a little jealous, if anything. So again... Yes. Did we have Corey on? Yes. And actually, you know, I'll give you guys this inside scoop. It's not really a scoop, but I actually did pay Corey. Al, did you know this? What? Did I know that you paid Corey? Yes. I paid Corey. Yeah, I knew you paid him. And it was uh, sort of an after the fact sort of thing. I paid Corey uh, just to kind of. Let him know who's boss. And I paid him a little more than what Aaron would pay him just to show him that there's a light at the end of this Steel Toe tunnel and that you don't have to be involved with Steel Toe. You, you could decline their $50 offer and, you know, there's, you know, bigger, better things waiting for you on the other side of this whole Steel Toe thing because we all could see that you're really not having a good time and you're just there for a fucking paycheck. So, hey, man, I could fucking put cash in your pocket. It's not saying I would bring on... St- Corey as a fucking co-host I'm just saying like take a chance Corey do what you know is right now that's I, hilarious I thought that whole Corey interview went pretty good on our part um you know again it's all a part of our plan from two weeks ago divide from within and attack right and that's nothing short of what we did on Saturday so this whole misconception about Corey fucking owned us and Aaron washed his hands and he'll accept the apology is all a farce. Again, I could have probably pressed Corey a little more. Uh, Pat Melton did point that out on today's stream. I could have pressed him for sure. I, I, you know, I could have went about that interview uh, a million different ways, but I didn't. I, I wanted to get to certain things in that interview. Corey did tell me he had a, a show he was attending to that night. So, you know, I was like, all right, given the time, let's just bring you on for a segment, Twenty, uh, about 20, 30 minutes. You know, let me get your thoughts on the whole Chad thing, the whole Melton thing, you know. But uh, at, at the very least, out Patrick Melton now is, uh, you know, kind of warming back up to Corey. And I feel like we're bringing people together at, at the end of the day, right? So if we could detach Corey from the Steel Toe fucking brand, I feel like that's a win for us, right? And and that's really the whole goal at the end of this. Uh, you know, get Corey away from the steel toe, get Johnny away from the steel toe. Eventually, they will get a divorce. And, you know, it's all over for Aaron. He's going to pack up shop, quit, and go back to fucking playing video games. <laughs> that was this morning. I believe I still have the clip from... This it? Okay, yeah, Corey was on... Okay, so this was last night now. So I got the clips mixed up here. Let's go to the chat here. How's everyone feeling? We're only going to do about uh, this. I think this might be our last clip. And we'll tune back into them live one more time and see what's up. But what's the chat saying about Corey here? Good point, Aaron. The red bar coverage was amazing. Literally two hours. He blocked me for uh, for the mildest critique. Who blocked you, James? So you paid him 51 bucks. No, I actually paid Corey $75. $75 I, I paid Corey. I was going to pay him 51 bucks. That would have been hilarious. But I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll even go above and beyond that, Corey. I'll show you that I'm more than just a fucking troll. You know what I mean? Like, there's work to be made. Like, there's work to be done out here. Uh, Corey at least was honest. Yes, Corey was honest. And that's why I did appreciate Corey in that interview. No, we didn't sell our EBT 
We don't steal money from our fucking podcast well, 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 viewers like Steel Toe Morning Show. Col well, Coltrane is a Steel Toe bro, and that's fine. He's in the Steel Toe chat religiously. And that look, Coltrane, and to that I would say this, man. Uh, yeah, you're used to your hosts having to beg for money. You're not used to people doing it themselves, actually having a sh uh, multiple streams of income. Look, we've made two dollars here on tonight's stream, and when it, that I guys correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't even brought up super chats this whole fucking stream. I brought up memberships one time. If you want to fucking starting in April, we're going to be doing a uh, members only stream during the week. If you want to sign up, sign up. Haven't even brought up donations outside of that. So yeah, again, we're not concerned about that, right? The 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 uh, super chat button is there. You guys know where it is, right? It's not going anywhere. We're not hounding it the whole stream. We're not making that the whole show. It's not about that. Uh, so, that, I mean, it's a good joke. I mean, nice try, but yeah. Um, so let's see. Coltrane, how uh, how's it feel to be <laughs> Steel Toes Monkey? Uh, starting in April. Yeah, starting in April. Ohm, ohm. So you're a member, Ohm Ohm. So starting in April, we're going to be doing at least two more shows uh, during the week for our members. And it's just, you know, uh, just because there's only, I mean, this month's pretty much halfway done already. Uh, we were going to make this a members-only stream, but I, I wanted to have the chat engaged. So, yeah, starting in April, the month of April, once a week, we'll be doing like a two, three-hour stream for our members. And then anything we release, as far as the music, you guys will get an exclusive uh, week preview to that. All our members will get our music up to a week early, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you'll get uh, anytime we drop merch, which, as you can see, I'm wearing the In the Paint podcast hoodie. You'll have exclusive, uh, you know, you have the first dibs to that. That's all I'm really going to say about our monetization roles here on the channel um so let's watch this clip this was from last night another comedy hacks mentioned what does that mean sam v comedy hacks mentioned us you f you should finish in april don't worry it's safe oh uh, i see what you did there you savvy son of a bitch it's not like she it's not like she has any kids already right so it seems pretty safe to me <laughs> Coltrane says, Subatai Lopez, pretty good, LOL. That all you got? Uh-oh, we got a chat war going on here, Al. Subatai Lopez uh, versus Coltrane. Who, who who you got your money on, Al? I, uh, Subatai Lopez. So do I. I feel like Coltrane's already starting off behind being a steel bro. Sorry. This has been a very fun Wrong show. Very fun show, very fun week. Uh, a clip is on YouTube about Red Bar ripping him now. Somebody already clipped that kill. That's pretty impressive. And Red Bar clips get out fucking faster than you could say the word Red Bar. Um, all right, guys, let's play this last clip, and then we're going to tune back into them for like three more minutes, and then we're going to get out of your guys' hair. And then you guys are going to get ready for Nobody Likes Onions at 11 o'clock Eastern. So this was from Sunday, uh, and this was the first time we heard uh, the apology. If we wanted to apologize, then Aaron would kind of fucking let bygones be bygones. We're here to tell you tonight that there is no apology to be made. We are not apologizing. I fear no man. I want no alliance with anybody. I don't pick sides. I call out the nonsense and the hypocrisy and the fucking foolishness of people on the internet. And that's how it will be. That's how it's always been. And that's how it will forever fucking go. That's just who I am, right? I'm not here to make friends. Why is my thing fucking... Oh, it's my speaker. All right, so this was Sunday night. And this was the first mention of Corey owning us on Saturday. Let's watch. That show that was like a, a Steel Toe fan turned Steel Toe hater. And I think Corey turned him back. Because mm. again, with the news that's come out this weekend... Even if you hate me, you have to go, okay, I still dislike that guy, but he was right, and I got to back the fuck off or I'm going to look like an idiot. Two, people going, oh, I thought something about you that wasn't true. I'm back on board. Apologies. I'm willing to take all of I'm it. going to guess I missed something with Corey. Is that, would that be correct? Yeah, he was on uh, go for two or... Win by two. Win by so two. So first Thank of all, Aaron really? does this thing. Yeah. Aaron does this thing where he acts like he doesn't know who we are. Oh, he's on that... Go for two. 
first of all, what kind of name is Go for Two? Go for Two? What a, really? What a Go, fucking doofus. Go for Two. And then April, again, now if you guys remember, like one of the first times we got shouted out by Steel Toe back in the Dizzy, April was actually, uh, you know, called out Aaron for not being subscribed to our channel. So again, April, uh, you know, like I said, April, I don't sense she's all that bad. She's, she's, again, caught up in this whole thing. And I think, you know, with time, April will realize how big of a hack Aaron is. And she'll leave him, right? I mean, this can only last so long. I mean, do, do you guys honestly think in a year or two uh, years worth of time that Aaron is going to be keep uh, hitting his goal on a nightly basis? You know what I mean? Like, this is going to dry up. And it's going to end bad. Everybody is hate watching him. Red Bar, Kevin Brennan, Chad Zumach, Bob Levy, us, uh, you know, Patrick Melton. I mean, everybody's hate watching you. Everybody. And now we got people from their chat in our chat tonight that, you know, used to be fans, like really hardcore fans of them, but are slowly starting to turn. So it's just a matter of time now. So, uh, you know, you just have to, what these sort of things, I know people want it to happen tonight. It's not going to happen tonight. Give it some time, right? I mean, this really just started happening within the last three weeks, like the, the attacks on Steel Toe. It's only been three weeks, and look how far we got in three weeks. Like, you have to recognize how far we have come. Because if you don't recognize how far you have come, you'll never get any further, right? So you have to recognize that. And now we're gonna. And now our our goal, our goal, is to take it one step further, right? Turn up the heat, and that's what we're gonna do, man. That's why we're here tonight. So this was them last night uh, saying Corey owned us. He did this big own uh, go for two radio. Fucking, you know, they were shitting on us, but they're willing. We're willing to accept their apology. So let's check it out. How did that go? Uh, he says he fucking... I had kids to take care of this weekend. I was having fun. Yeah, Corey texted fun. me about it. I haven't listened to Corey's, it or anything. Corey's but. great. Corey actually helped me with a lot of shit this weekend, so thank uh, you. Corey texted me about it. He says, yeah, I I, I turned Cole him. Coltrane like, says, oh, look, you know, I made him see viewers. Like, look, this, you're kind of falling hey, for Cole some Train. bullshit here. And so that was kind of Do you nice. think I give a flying fuck about 80 viewers? Like, do you think that, uh, you think that's a sick fucking burn? Like, bro, I've done shows for nobody. <laughs> like, 80 viewers, 86 viewers. I don't care who's in my chat, bro. I'm going to talk shit until I die, bro. All right, so 80 viewers, bro. You got to come better than that. Imagine sticking up for fucking Steel Toe. Like, imagine where your life is today. You know what I mean? It's time to wake I mean, up. It's time to wake up, Coltrane, and look at yourself in the mirror and realize what the wrong decisions you made in your life. Where you're in my chat tonight, not watching Aaron M. Holt in his chat, trying to talk shit on me and trying to get me to quit. That's insane, bro. That's coming yeah, from an insane person. What you got now? Let's not, let's not forget that last week the first hour of our podcast got more viewers than fucking the entire Steel Toe episode for three days. Exactly. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's not. So we're doing a show at 930 and we got more like 90 people. But you want to give a shit. It's it's. And that's fine. You're not going to see people. Yeah, you're not going to bother us. People aren't used to that. People are used to Aaron coming on stream, begging for money, worrying about his numbers. I don't care. If you want to turn us off, if you never want to watch us again, fine. I don't... <laughs> I'll still be on here, guys. Like, it's not that big of a deal. You know what I mean? We, I mean, obviously, we appreciate everyone who's in here tonight and checking us out because you don't have to... Be, uh, you don't have to be. You could be anywhere else tonight. So that's... I mean, that's awesome. But you think I give a fuck if, you know, 80 viewers? Like, come on, bro. But that, see, that's the, that's the mistake. I don't, you know, the super chats and fucking, I've, you know, it's, you guys are really like living in a sick fucking, you're living in Aaron's delusion. They're delusional. Yes. Delusional, bro. Marquis says, you mad, bro? No, I'm actually not mad at all. I'm just. You mad, bro? I'm just you drunk. You mad, bro? And look, you mad, bro? Imagine. You mad, bro? If, imagine. <laughs> imagine if I was spamming a chat and then asking the host if he was mad. Like, imagine that. Like, you seem to be the mad one, bro. You're spamming the chat. I'm, I could care less, bro. I'm just drinking some Gentleman Jack talking shit. That's what we do. Welcome to the In Pain Podcast, bro. It's all right. We accept people here. 
on this chat. He wanted to turn. Uh, three fifty is still more than eighty seven. Yeah, bro, I could do I could do math, right? Three fifty is more than eighty seven. I'm not, you know, no fucking. Uh, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, disguise eighty seven views as more than three hundred fifty seven. Right. More people are gonna watch this episode than any steel to episode this week. So all his numbers are fake, bro. So have fun following that. And there are some interesting developments, by the way. I, I'm still working on, uh, you know, coming, bringing to the light here. Uh, I haven't said anything about it, but I, I could pretty much almost prove that Steel Toe does buy viewerships, does buy viewers. Uh, but we will get to that when I can verify, because I don't want to just bring it up. Citizen M, why can't Aaron be a real person instead of putting on this all I do is win facade? It, dude, I mean, that's all we kind of want, right? It's just Aaron to just be fucking true to, you know, himself. Like, he he wants to have his cake and eat it, too. He wants to talk the shit, but he doesn't want to talk the shit at the same time. When it gets too hot, he backs out. We just want him to fucking be true to his words, stop lying, give us answers to the prize night. I mean, obviously, the list goes on and on, right? So let's do this, guys. Uh, look, I'm not mad at all. Uh, look, Marquis says, salty. Marquise, if I was salty, imagine if I was salty, what would I do? I would kick you from the chat, right? That would be easy. You're, you're free to chat here, man. It's all right. You'll come around to us. It's not that big of a deal. I embrace 87 uh, live viewers here. That's awesome. Bar bro, Marquise loved cake. Marquise... You have answers for that, Marquise? You loved cake? What are you insinuating, April Zumok? Are you insinuating he's a uh, extra large gentleman shopping in the uh, surplus department? A lot, he says. Marquise, you and I are going to be good friends. Mark my words, one, uh, my friend. We're going to be good fucking friends one day. All right, let's go back into uh, the Steel Toe Show, and we're going to play for, like, another five minutes, and we're going to get out of your guys' hair, man. I'm fucked up tonight. Too much of this Gentleman Jack. I was trying to go shot for shot with Aaron, but he's drinking beer. Again, a bitch move. I'm drinking Bro, whiskey. He's drinking O'Doul's. Yeah, it's so not even real beer. Real beer, yeah. All right, so let's pull up a tab. Steel. O'Doul's. Yeah, like, I'm, oh, fuck, dude, this is crazy. Podcast host has meltdown. <laughs> Imagine that clip. Other shows and just became fans. I appreciate that. Oh, is, is he talking really about really us again? Me. Very cool, guys. We, uh, we appreciate the honesty. Yeah. And I'm hearing from a lot of people now. I've heard it from multiple people. The attack on us tonight, really uninspired and not good. I mean, again, I just, it's a good show with confident <laughs> hosts. I, you're not so, going to be able to really get much done. Hold on. And it's a show that's been trying to get us for a year now. So Oh, he's talking about Red know. Bar. I think okay. we've he's not drawn talking more about blood us. than they have with our uh, Sven Stoffel's phone call coverage. I'm sad and I think that's where, that a, that's where a lot of the bitterness comes from. Imagine thinking you have the high ground while doing a video of somebody <laughs> fixing a tire, dude. <laughs> What the he's, fuck? He's already making what are we talking yeah. about? I mean, guys, already got four or five guys, the attack on us tonight really hasn't done much. Dude, you're playing a video of someone fixing a spare tire. <laughs> what the fuck? On a car you can't even afford. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. Look at that. There's a Mercedes. Holy shit. So there's not a point in time where I could tune in this show where Aaron is just doing, as we, you know, point out a fun this show. This has been a very fun show. Very fun show. Very fun week. He is very concerned about what everybody's saying about him. What Red Bar is saying. With, uh, what Win by Two Radio is saying. With Chad Zuma. With Pat Melton. Red Bear. I mean, every what, uh, what, no matter what anyone's saying, Aaron is fucking glued into the screen. He's a narcissist. That's classic narcissistic behavior. He cares what everybody is thinking about him at any given time. If you were doing a fun show... Al, if we claim to be doing a fun show and there was people hate watching us, I would say, fuck my haters. I'm doing my show. I'm not paying you guys any fucking mind. But again, he's dipping his toe into this fucking place where it's just extending his fucking coverage. Like, if you wanted people to stop covering you, you would stop talking about the people. But now you're just giving people uh, more fuel. Like, by the second. Unreal, man. That's what he does. 
So he's talking about Mercedes Benz here. I'm glad we caught the uh, the bare end of that, man. Uh, I, I don't think I could do much uh, too much longer. I need a cigarette uh, and to take a piss, guys. <laughs> Let what time we got here on the East Coast? Nine forty-five. You want to go for like another five-ish minutes? Are you good on time? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm good for it. All right, let's let's do like another five, and then we're gonna get out of here. I need a cigarette and take a piss. Actually, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on screen so everyone can watch real quick. I'm, I, I, like, I need to take a piss now. Uh, we're going to take a... Uh, I'm going to take a bathroom break. I'm going to come back, and then we're going to uh, sign off, guys. Uh, we appreciate everyone here tonight, though, obviously. Uh, you guys were awesome in the chat. Uh, this was a spur-of-the-moment type of stream, so anyone uh, you know who's here tonight, fucking you guys are the ones who's winning tonight. And again, if you haven't picked your copy up today of Love Until Forever... The hard copy. Uh, pick yours up today, man. I mean, this is a great read. If you have children, obviously, you could teach them a little something. This is Ashley LaRue's book. This is Aaron's ex-wife. Uh, this is her book here. Uh, you know, we're supporting Aaron's, uh, you know, kids. Chad bought a book, obviously, supporting the kids. Because we all know Aaron does not support the kids and his ex-wife. Uh, only $800 a month goes to uh, child support when uh, he gets paid what could be imagined anywhere from ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month. So uh, pick up your copy of Love Until Forever today. Mine just came in the mail. We're gonna do a full read on that on Saturday. So make sure you tune in for that. So guys, all right, let's go to this. Uh, let me see how this. I, I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. Uh, we're gonna go to. Let me get you off screen here, Al. We're going to go to Aaron live here for the last like five minutes, and then we're going to get out of your guys' hair. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in tonight. Let's go to Aaron. Asking people to write in which is their most problematic pothole. Like on which really? Really? Hole down yeah, the I saw that yesterday. Like, oh, which is your Gosh, least favorite brother. pothole in town? <laughs> Corey, you don't need to know, says, as a mechanic, we're honest. It's the customer that's either dishonest or an idiot. Love the show. Hmm. Could, be, could be true as well. I don't know. I feel like... There's been times when I've brought a vehicle into a shop before and because I'm a woman and I am there alone sometimes, I do definitely feel like they try to pull one over me sometimes. Uh, Rincewind says, Aaron, your people built the Autobahn. You can't fill in a few potholes. Huns never could cope with trenches. <laughs> it's like, fuck you. Wait, I shouldn't say fuck you because I'm an American. We won those wars. You're taking my German heritage and you're... My grandparents fought in World War II. I don't know about the first one. I think we'd only been here for a little bit when World War One was happening. Okay. Honestly, my my German side had been here for like ten years. I don't know much about no, mine. Nobody trusted my my uh, family nor during should, World War One. Nor we, should they. Yeah, we weren't we weren't here long enough for them to for them to fuck around with us. That's for sure. Uh, we have a couple of stories left. We should be able to get to both of these. I think they're both Florida stories. We should be able to get to them both. Uh, two bucks from Captain January over on Rumble. Make sure you hit follow. I think we're at 1,200 there. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, we're over 9,200 on YouTube at the moment. Thank you guys very much. Uh, the march to 10,000 continues for this show. Thank you, guys. Uh, Captain January with two bucks says, our 10-point inspection shows you're due for a new Johnson rod. Yeah, just <laughs> I, they should do that. I, I think car people should do that. Uh, just, just to see. See who they can fuck with. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mr. Nobody says, why is your grandpa from Argentina, Aaron? It's, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's, it was not from Argentina. My, let me set the record straight. My grandfather was not an escaped Nazi right. officer who made his way to Any, Argentina and then repopulated the, uh, his gone, family Clem. and brought them to the United States. Let's kill that rumor where it stands. No, okay? it's just the yes. same nonsense. I... I'm sure that'll work. Just the oh, same poor nonsense, Brittany brother. Fenty. <laughs> this chick's hot. What'd she do? Nothing oh, too man, juicy. Yeah, right? There's that. There's that. That uh, is weird. Yeah. There's that Twitter account. Uh, mug shotties. We hate watch a low cal. Yes. yes. Get it, they're hot. Mug shotties. And, and it's just hot chicks. That Jay get says at Tay Fury. Tell you what yeah. What steel toe uh, was before the he we covered, couldn't uh, handle the blowback. This chick recently. 
the one who attacked her lawyer in court. Taxes like, stuff her says, I just stumbled upon the show because of Steel and Toe and the algorithm. I'm really enjoying this content. Y'all are straight up. Oh, man. All kinds well, of shit. Well, we tried to be And I was up. the only one reading that story going, did she uh, plug it in Shuck and turn it on or not? Justin not at all. To know if, did she cook it? Right. She definitely she not out here pandering the motherfuckers on YouTube. That's for sure. Because it was a useful container that's what people are used to, man. You kind of hope you cooked it, right? Now, it wouldn't smell well, my bad. concern Ooh, yeah, here like it would smell right worse. now. If you actually cooked it, I feel like it wouldn't smell. Here, I'm gonna bring them up on the big uh, guys, screen. Guys, get back to us in the chat. <clears throat> Cooking a head and a dick. So yeah, for some reason. Okay, here we make go. Make it smell worse or better. Your they thoughts. hit the, no, so they're 95 away from their goal. So I want to watch the if they hit show. their goal tonight. Sure if they do, you, uh, put your answers. We're gonna in, uh, we're gonna sign if they do hit their goal. Honestly, we're just gonna sign off. But we hope they don't hit their goal. That would be hilarious to catch live on stream. Oh, see, but, uh, I want to let her go. NLO fan here can't yeah, stand steel toe. Well, right, she just has Justin a little meth. She Chuck. didn't shoot anybody. Well, maybe she'd taken a little meth. She wouldn't have fallen asleep. And uh, for right? it's Florida, many of you too. may You're know, but Patrick Mountain is lap, going like, live. Nobody sure. likes onions is going live at 11 o'clock Eastern want, time. Florida. Eight o'clock Pacific. So stay tuned for that. He has uh, some interesting developments in the Chad Zumach case, the Black Eye Gate, as we like to call it. The Poop Finger Gate. She's already got the meth scars starting to form. I think we hit our goal tonight, though. I think uh, we uncovered a lot. Uh, a lot of people were asking us tonight whether or not, uh, you know, we were going to be on the side of Steel Toe. Uh, you know, what were we selling out? Are we doing the old-fashioned WWE heel turn? And again, for uh, just to catch you guys up, no, we're not doing, we're not fucking cucking it up this steel toe. Imagine cucking it up the steel toe. Oh my god, dude! No, that's the, we are the furthest thing from that, I'd say. So if you're here tonight to, you know, uh, hopefully catch us in like a, a, a cuck session, yeah, well, it's nope. not, it's not gonna happen. Uh, April Zuma said, uh, April Zuma says, Black Eye Gate, aka Marquise Gate. Yes, <laughs> Marquise Gate. Wow, Marquise. Look, Marquise, give him time, man. He'll come around. Everyone's not gonna fucking jump off the bandwagon at once, right? They will, though. They will come around, and we're here for it. Coltrane, Kyle, Marquise, all of them. Mike Dub says, dirty jersey. Hell yeah, the dirtiest. You can hear the jersey in our voices. Can you really? I, I feel like I do a good job not projecting jerseyness, but sometimes when I say fuck or I, I use my hands and shit. No, we both do. W Man says, thanks for coming on. Yeah, and by the way, we don't do Monday streams. We don't usually do during the week streams. We just usually keep it to Saturday. But, uh, you know, given everything that happened this past week and we had Corey on and everyone's trying to say just because we had Corey on now that we're best fucking friends with Steel Toe, like, I couldn't be furthest from the truth. That's so ridiculous. Like, guys, I have a fat head of Aaron. Like, imagine being a fan and having a fat head of the person you're a fan of. That would be gay. Hate to break it to you. No, I... Look, Clem, I think I, I, th I came up with a saying the other day. I, I don't know. I'm going to test it out on you guys. If you guys don't like it, just say it. But I came up with a saying that in the paint podcast, we don't just watch. We hate watch. And that's what we're doing tonight. <laughs> Only when it comes to steel toe. Well, every, well, it depends. Everyone, everyone that comes up on this screen, we are hate watching. I hate watch. I don't just watch people to watch people. I tune in for the hate. I give some people credit. Some. Not, not not these two. Yes. All right, so we are, let's see, about three minutes away from them taking out their fucking can and begging. So let's see. They're 95 away from the goal. Imagine if they didn't hit it. That would be a feat in itself. It's looking good tonight. But, uh, yeah, some of you, we play back at you. You know, like you want to have fun. You want to write stuff in the chat. We go back at you. We have some fun, and then you yell at us for it. I'm Trying to, trying to let you lead the dance, brother. That's all. I do think Marish is handling it the right way, though, because, like I said, when I got here, I think that that fun-loving back and forth is kind of over. Like yeah. that type of interaction is over. Yeah, people aren't sharp enough to do that. It's yeah, unfortunately. It's not that we're not sharp. Uh, so what ended up happening to her? The deputy approached the vehicle to make contact with the driver. The deputy located the driver, who was later identified as Nicole Pelican. Oh, look at the Pelican fly! Come on, Pelican. 
Uh, asleep in the driver's seat with a forearm in her lap. Or forearm. A firearm in her lap. <laughs> yeah, if there's a forearm in her lap, there's fingers in her pussy. No, uh, it's not that we're not sharp. We just... We want you to fucking... We, we want you to stop broadcasting. Glass smoking pipes often Give up this pipe dream. Could we hide those a little bit? She's sleeping. She forgot. See, guys, we right, got you could have searched her car. She never would have known. Two minutes did. until they During a beg. vehicle search. Uh, oh, after oh she my God. If Aaron lived in Jersey, Deputies he'd be a pine. Deputies located a backpack with Pelican's <laughs> driver's license inside Dude, that contained a small ag. baggie. He lives in Minnesota and he's a pine. substance inside. It field tested positive for meth. The total weight was 20 grams. She did, check this out, she did possess a valid concealed weapons permit. Good for her. She's which, only half wrong then. I wish the news would have kept says, that how did lung cancer Florida, taste? I feel like you've got some regulations I don't know that's coming referring your way to. now. If a meth head passed out in a 7-Eleven parking story? lot can get a concealed weapons permit, you might be fucked. Uh, you, they might be trying to change your laws. Although with your governor, hey, they at least uh, you know when uh, you tune in this says, show, we're not going to beg. April, where did you get but the they're hat? about one minute away from finding the piping right up the music too. and begging. <laughs> Thanks. It's a head joke. Oh, come on. Just get one. It's adjustable because us, it is. It's us, a snapback. He us huge, he us to huge headed lead people. To smoking's after the us show. Big, yeah, uh, big headed. So people, if you're gonna fucking to make a comeback, at least like Actually, know I'll when argue, I'm smoking. Like on my behalf, I think this is one of my nicer hats. But it's all right, Marquise. Like, like I said, me and you are gonna be friends, bro. Hat. All right, guys. It's all it good. looks like it is time. All right, here we go. The, the begging oh, begins. Who don't like us are gonna hate this. This is gonna drive them nuts. I hope they hit it because if 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 I hope they hit it. Either way, we're we're leaving after they're begging. I'm not. We are I can't do any more show. Tonight's goal, and if we knock it out, Patrick Melton's going to be on in an hour. I got to smoke a cigarette, get some dinner in me. Tonight. And we've got uh, got some chicken cutlets and macaroni and cheese ready to rock. Opie stuff that we didn't do this morning because we oh, thought yeah, right. Zumok to Opie back to back. Uh, not it's a little rich. It's a so little they're going to do much. Opie coverage, so and I'm not. I'm not really concerned about Opie. Revenge of the Sis, Royce Lopez, hype train. Let's yeah, Citizen M, I, I did reach out to you. And All right, so they're they're begging now. Oh, this drives them insane. I love Let's this part. It makes it. me want to do it more often. So we have our candy 90 bucks guys. away from knocking it out and doing an extra half hour. We're begging as well. There's the Streamlabs and <laughs> PayPal link begging. in the chat if you'd like to do it but that way. Otherwise, so can. super chats and memberships and Aaron work Fathead. as well. Five minutes to go. If we knock out that 90... <laughs> We How do an ridiculous. extra half hour of program for you. Uh, Pistol B, 22 minutes ago with five bucks, says, I wouldn't take April to Popeye's anymore. Come on, guys. It seems Hit to make her violent. She's breathing fire tonight. Yeah, oh, you were no. Ride the train. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Today. My thing was, I was... I felt great today. Like, the whole time. I'm like, you know what? Finally feels good. Hit that yeah, fucking was, goal. Uh, April was really firing on all cylinders today. It was pretty goddamn good. April's yeah. All right, wow. guys. 90 bucks away. Let's see if we can knock it out. Don't hit the goal, guy. Uh, oh, eight, my God. Uh, MSO has said tonight is the night. Left. No oh. goal. Not going to happen. Let's see. Uh, wild card, right? That one? Yes. There we go. Wild card with five bucks over five on PayPal. Five bucks Thank coming in from much. wild card. We keep 95% of that one. Thank you. YouTube so takes pathetic. 30%. Yeah, I mean, 85 bucks this is why I hate watching. From knocking it out tonight. Let's see if we five can get there. Five minutes are going to be dedicated to getting uh, 90 bucks. 85 away. Links are in the chat. There they are. Uh, 199. Yes, Patrick. Come Coolen on, motherfuckers. Says, R.I.P. Dennis Falcone. Donate yeah, to Steel Toe, not us. Today. Donate to Steel Toe. Uh, Make uh, them hit their goal. So they do 30 Denny minutes got, on. Uh, oh, got canned from Sirius so XM. Fucking cringe. That's dude. really too bad. That is too bad. All right, 85. Marquise with five bucks. Says, ah, Beg Marquise. harder, little piggy. WB2 doesn't like this. <laughs> oh, they don't like it. I love it. Oh well, then in that case. Let's really knock it out then for our friends at WB2. <laughs> Even the I would love that. Are they still bro, hanging in there? I haven't seen any of their the begging people. segment. No. They know it's I guess five. Pathetic. It's hard to I kind of forget one. about them. Yeah. It's easy to. <laughs> All right. Uh, three minutes to go. Three minutes oh, away. Oh, God. From knocking this it's thing out. Let's to, see if says. we can do it. 80 away. Hey, and at least. PayPal uh, and Streamlabs are right there in the chat if you'd like April. to contribute. Sorry, April. Me and you are going to be are friends we going one day to knock too. it out, or is right. MSO finally right? Let's Hit the make goal, sure guys. Hit the goal. I'd love to do overtime. Oh, yeah. We have had a great, great day today. 
lots of people on, in here. here. Make sure you're liking and subscribing. If you can't donate, they certainly are. The subs guys, are you, you in make, make sure to like and subscribe cool. if you, you can't donate. All right, guys, two minutes away. You guys we have mu- chores. There's ch- maybe there's a chance we if don't you, make it. Tonight. If you don't donate, Maybe you got to hit shorts. Yeah, David Chandler You've will save them, Daniel job. Hudson. Are we going to close? He's their Five fucking savior. Kyle w says, I'm dancing a little step like Spida. Come on. Do my jam. There's Don't MSO. hit it. He says, this is it. Now I'm invested, dude. He says, this now is I'm it. fucking invested. 75 away. 75. Will we make they get it? to 50. PayPal, they do overtime. Labs. But imagine if Let's they even get to overtime. It's going to be OB coverage. Who cares? Let's see. Under two minutes to go. Two minute warning. Ricky Garcia with 499. Look, those. We're hate watching them not getting their OC goal. Cali. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Come on. 70 away. 70 away. Is this, the night this is getting close. MSO I mean, they, uh, in all fairness, wins. they do have like 370 Nail people biter. in their chat. So if they can't come oh, up with 70 boy. bucks, one that's pretty alarming. Go. We are officially in the one minute range. Oh, they're sweating. She's sweating. Imagine if we fucking were the reason why they didn't Von get their Kaiser, goal. Is today Jimmy Shaker oh, day? Just like a pig if David Chandler shit, comes in, bro, Nobody's I'm gonna be you sick. Watch, buddy. Don't worry about it. This is how we no goal. Things going over here. No goal. Steel-toe. You don't see anyone else minding. That's too bad. I hope put you your money in the win by two radio instead. If you're gonna donate yourself. to them, if, you, if your you're money's burning a hole in your pocket, he says, "Where's your dignity, <laughs> dude? I've been in broadcasting for 16 years. Ain't Long no fucking gone. dignity, bro. No goal. No We're calling it. See, they don't like that answer." Johnny Chimpo with 999. Not 65 60, 60, Oh, 65. and here we go. We've got. That's got to be a minute. 40. Oh, this says we've got 40 seconds left. Yeah. All right, so a little bit more time than I thought. Ah, 40 fuck. seconds to They're go. They're going to get it. They always away. get it. But this that would be amazing be if they didn't. That MSO. <laughs> Come on, guys. Gets it right. Off your fucking says, uh, feet. Picker says no One time. Than an ad break on no TV. goal. Uh, down to 50. There's 20 bucks. Ah, uh, down to 50. Cabello. They're going to do overtime. Thank you, sir. And but we are down to 50 bucks. Watch which now. Does someone's going to fucking come in there with a 50 bag. On uh, credit. credit. 25 bucks from Derek on PayPal. They got we are it. now 25 bucks. These guys are fucking steel toe simps. Thank you. Very, very cool. You close. guys are all sick. Uh, Big Jan says, This is so weird to see you turn into like an auctioneer, but for donations. Exactly. Why don't you just enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's donating, donating to himself. No, no, no. He's getting it. He, no. Look, he's what's his hand it. doing? He's understanding. What's his hand You're doing? On your way, Big Jan. We see a lot of them like you. All right, there's the end of it. Thank you. 25 bucks away on credit for the next half hour. No call, guys. Colt C says, it's on this a credit. Money laundering operation? We win, motherfucker. I mean, no. Let's go in the can. And if you're not from the FBI. The, Eat no, that, the Aaron, you I fuck. fucked up my own joke. Jesus Christ. Way to end it on a high All right. Day. So. Do your shit on credit away. and beg for the extra 25, you Big sad Jan says, it's poor pathetic. excuse. Now, I got to know, Big Jan. Do you think you're going to become a fan of Steel Toe, or do you think you never will? <laughs> I'm going to keep 40 you 40 seconds of my life. You're uh, right, dude. Oh, says, you're huh? right, Daniel. Right, well, you're what did he say? That's Daniel I said, you to be upset. said that's, that, that was the longest 40 upset. seconds yeah, of his life. Dude, that was bad. like, I yeah. I mean, bug you, buddy. I'll I mean, you what time we got? Door. It's 10.01, uh, so it was actually 6 minutes. Six minutes. Yeah, but I don't have to fake getting attacked to do my Way to end it on a high note, fellas. Yeah. Then April. Hey, guys. Round of applause for yourself. Hold on. Yep. Yeah, give yourself like, a wait, pat on the back. Wait, wait before you do, hold the applause. Videos. Hold the, the applause. You can't really shit on Listen us to what their overtime story is going I think to be. I'll do it. Five minutes of this show having a little fun with our audience while we uh, pay oh, ourselves. Yeah. We keep it very small. Yeah, this I is what you guys uh, paid for. I think it's pretty good. Chad, see, I like people like Chad Zukok. He goes, true, you got me. Oh, uh, MSO is right. Since we uh, are 10 bucks away and we didn't get it in the allotted time, but we did get the 30 minutes on credit. Uh, cause we do that if we get inside of 50 MSO is right. This, this is their push. overtime. This is a draw Fair. cause we could still not hit it. A draw. Yes. He gets an extension that too. All manipulation, yeah, sure. gaslighting. Right, I think our point this, uh, is proven. Stuff. So oh, slow, they're going to do OP. We're not doing OP thing. shit. Says Guys. has red bar attack been addressed. It's not really an attack. I'm Hold sorry. On. What are they we saying about like six Let me listen to this and then we're going to sign off. Uh, our numbers all went up. Uh, it was, yeah, I think Pip's right. It was a non-factor. So, I mean, we had fun with it. We were driving them nuts. We were sitting here playing along with them. They didn't like that. They yelled at us. He sent some of his guys to harass me on my Instagram. Yeah, we had some fun with them. I don't know. I don't know. I had a good time. 
it's fine. Yeah. I Like I said, kind of a bummer because I like the guy, but oh well. As you get older than high school, you realize right, He's dressing red, red bar. bar. Let's watch this, and then we're going to sign off. He's a show talking about you. <coughs> like, he's not in That's your- That's all yeah. of us, though. Right. He's not in your house. You yeah. know, he's not breaking your dishes. He's not, you know, molesting your dog if he wanted to. I don't know. I'm not what? Judging molesting your dog? So, yeah, it's just uh, a guy having a little fun behind his paywall that's been shrinking. Uh, best of luck to him. I mean, if that's how right, he so wants he's gonna to act spend like, his uh, final he's years on this earth. Higher than Red Bar now. That this guy can do to, no wrong. Uh, you Aaron M. Hold, everyone. Live as they want to. And I, I'm I'm actually rooting for Mike. I want to see things. Oh, are you? I want to yeah, see because you would like him to fucking Mike. fight your I want to get back to those days where I'm like All right, guys, Honestly, I cannot take any much more of this nonsense bullshit. We're going to have to fucking call it there, guys. We missed our goal, unfortunately, so no overtime for you fuckers. Uh, no, guys, hey, a, a round of your applause for yourself. They did not, I want that to be known, they did not hit overtime on our stream. Wait, there it is. Hey, Clem, no overtime for uh, Sir Aaron and Steel Toe. Round of applause for you guys. You guys were great tonight. That was fucking great. Like I said, Mondays, we we usually just stream on Saturdays. So for us to come on a Monday, right after being on a six-hour excursion on a Saturday, was a spur-of-the-moment type thing. I'm going to plug this one more time because it just came in the mail today. But Love Until Forever, pick up your copy today. Love Until Forever, a Ashley LaRue novel, uh, a kid's novel. So if you have kids, uh, even more of a reason to pick one up. Easter is right around the corner. St. Patrick's Day is around the corner. Uh, pick yours up today. Uh, they will uh, enjoy this read. We will be going through this whole book on Saturday. We'll be dedic uh, dedicating a whole segment on Saturday to Ashley LaRue and the kids, the three kids that Aaron and April do not give a shit about. They beg and beg and beg and beg and beg and beg and beg. And none of that money goes back to the kids. Only 800 bucks, but that ain't shit. Between three kids, what are we talking? Like fucking 250 a kid? It does have pictures if you can't read. It does have pictures if you can't read. And as you guys know, like I said earlier in the chat, uh, yeah, I I'm a picture book kind of guy. So a book like this will put me to sleep. So Love Until Forever, hard covered copy, Fox Point Publishers. Pick your book up today. Uh, Clem, we're going to be back on Saturday uh, doing a stream, unless anything crazy pops off. The only reason why we came on here tonight was uh, to address uh, whether we were steel toe friends or foes. And I think after tonight's stream, if anyone has any other questions, if we're steel toe friends or a foe, uh, you might want to fucking, you know, check yourself at the door. For everybody who hate watched us tonight... Kyle, Marquise, Cole. Although I will say Kyle did kind of change his tune tonight. And uh, I forget. There was someone else in the chat tonight. I forget his name. But uh, Kyle, Marquise, Coltrane. And uh, there was one other person hate watching us hate watch Steel Toe. Imagine that. You guys have no lives. You're going to watch someone else's stream shit on your fucking superhero. How pathetic. But, again, Steel Toe did not hit their goal, Clem. I mean, I think uh, that's pretty fucking spectacular shit right there. And uh, now uh, they're going to do uh, 30 minutes of overtime on Opie. Wow. Pretty fucking Yay. sickening. Clem, uh, where can everyone find you, Al? If they want to. We're going to uh, sign off. So where can everyone find you? Win by two official on TikTok and Clemmy Clem on Twitch. Twitter, Xbox, uh, Turd McGurkin on Xbox, and Alex Clemish eight one nine two on Twitter. Alex Clemish eight one nine two on Twitter. Start using your Twitter, man. Twitter is a uh, godsend when you're in the business like we are. I will. I'm gonna start using it. Guys, thank you so much for jo uh, joining us tonight. This was awesome. Get ready for Nobody Likes Onions and Patrick Melton set the debut in under one hour's worth of time. Head over his chat. He has uh, uh, some pretty alarming shit he's going to be bringing up tonight uh, with uh, the whole Chad Zumok black eye gate. Uh, but as for us, man, yeah, we'll be back here on Saturday unless anything uh, else pops up. But, uh, again, if you guys, uh, after this whole stream, if you think that we're steel bros, 
well, hopefully uh, this stream changed your mind. That's going to do it for us, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. For myself, John. Alex. Thank you for tuning in to another In the Paint podcast. We'll see you guys on Saturday. Peace. Peace out. <laughs> Aaron on a stick. Roll them credits, boy. Break your fucking my fat head. head cut out.